The views and opinions expressed on any program are those of the persons appearing on the program and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of the New Media Factory. Some programs on this network might include strong images and language and may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. The biggest, most outrageous online show in Philippine history. 20 million fucking downloads. Interactive in 35 countries. Mo is back with a vengeance in season two. Bigger, better, badder. Let's start off with an international call. Yesterday we took a call from India. Tonight it's Canada. Nice. Let's go to Ireland. Where in Ireland are you? Well, I'm in Dublin. Some people say that I'm a bad guy. They may be right. Let's go to Afghanistan. Holy shit, are you fucking really in Afghanistan? Yeah, man, what's up? Florida. What's up? I just found your show today, and I think it's great. Live from Hollywood and at the Beyond the Box studios in One Rockwell, Makati, it's Good Times with Mo, the podcast season two. The Bigger, Better, Badder podcast. Your questions about love, life, sex, and more sex are all answered and occasionally made fun of here. And now, the man who loves women and dudes, but not in the same way, the Philippine genius, DJ Mo Twister. All right, welcome to the podcast on this Wednesday night. It is the 9th of October, 2013. Good times with Mo, the podcast season two, brought to you by Globe. Hi, my name is Mo. Phone number, 478-7954. Skype, the Good Times podcast. You can even text us, if you please, at uh, 0927-214-1981 on the program tonight, as we have her every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Bianca Valerio. Hi, Hi Bianca. Good evening. Hi, I have something for you. Sort of. Sort of. <laughs> well, it's um a lot of it is gone already because the staff devoured it like crazy. So um fun. I've been getting messages like you about Polly's chocolate cake. Dude, it sounds Which like her stockholder. I yeah, got it from Magallanes. Stuck in traffic for That's an right. hour and forty minutes so I could get this cake. I haven't tried it yet. So oh. of course why don't you introduce When's the last guest? time Yeah, well I'll, I'll get to the guest in a second. When's the yeah. last time you had a slice of Polly's chocolate cake? No, I've never tried it. I've a chocolate oh, cake, yeah, but Paul. Wait, never... time out, time out, time out. Do you have the middle slice or do you have the corner slice that has icing on two sides? Dude, I have the corner. I'm all, all about right, the bitch. corner. Right? There you go. Fuck it. All right, hold on one second. Okay. Now, yesterday we were talking on the show. Uh, what, what's the best chocolate cake? I said Polly's chocolate cake uh-huh. at Shell, which you can buy at a fucking gas station. Yeah. And it is just the greatest fucking thing of all time. And now I'm going to prove it to you because I know you go to fancy restaurants and you be buy expensive shit, but I'm telling you, oh this, my God. this is the best fucking thing ever. Staff. Yeah, fuck it. Go, rub your pussy. No, Go. no one's talking. <laughs> <laughs> Our staff is like, it. they're just nodding, they're not even talking. Ever? Now rub it all over, they have your boy. Now, have it's you, so have good you... that we forgot to introduce our guest. That's the point. I'm, I'm going to introduce him in a second because I'm going to get his take on it too. But have you had, okay, listen, I wanted your boyfriend or so love good. interest uh, yesterday to, take, to, to have a go at it. I don't did, have did a boyfriend, you, did you it's let called him? courtship. Oh, whatever, fucking. Uh, have he has he has he had a chance to uh, to take a piece? He did, as well? and the thing is, he <laughs> he super super loves decadent, decadent like in your face, like you know, really moist. No, this is exage because when we were slicing it, it crumbles. Mm-hmm. It doesn't even stay as a slice; it just falls apart. But isn't it gorgeous? And usually, when it's you think, gorgeous. oh, it's fallen apart, but. It just melts in your mouth. I feel like we're it's in a commercial. Gorgeous. <laughs> See how talented oh, it's Filipinos are? Right. And because like, yeah. Bianca, if you don't want to finish it, please give it to me. <laughs> and it could be. Now, now, yesterday I was saying that Polly's chocolate cake could is the best chocolate cake in all of okay, the land. Okay, in fairness. It in fairness. could be the best chocolate cake that I've ever had in all of my travels uh, throughout the world. And where we're talking about, you know, nice <laughs> restaurants in Europe. So, I mean, to ev- everywhere. It's not I think this so is still sweet, the best yeah. fucking no, cake that I've ever really had in my life. I finished a fourth of mine. Do, I mean, do you have a sweet tooth, though? Yeah, I do. I have a sweet tooth. Oh, I by the way, finish a whole damn cake for myself. Singer, actor, <laughs> all around really great guy, uh, Guji Lorenzana. Hi, Guji. Thanks hey, guys, for being hey, here, guys. buddy. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot, yeah. man. All right, so what, how say you, Guji, on this cake? Is it is it the best you've had? I mean, be honest, though. I mean, or have you had better? Um, I don't know Chocolate. if it's... I, I wouldn't say it's the best I've had, but I would say okay, it's well, the best I've had in a long time. 
Let's put okay, then name me the What's better. What's the best one. you had? This is the thing is, if it's not the best you had, goddammit, I want to know the name of the, uh, the well, one that it's, was It's not here. There's a small mom and pop uh, bakery like in the states near my house that I that I remember they used to get cakes from. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that's only you like it because it's throwback. Like, like Maybe. you know how people, you know how people think. For example, this is the like, um, let's say. Back to the Future is the greatest movie of all time. Yeah. You know, so so many okay. because when we were younger, it came out and it was such a such a big part of our our, our the memories our, yeah, that bringing, come with it. But that's that it's actually better to us than it is truly better as a product. Yeah, but well, that's why personally, that's still my favorite. Because so it, it I, has okay, a lot. No, it carries a lot no, but, of memories with yeah. it. No, right, but if we're but talking about taste, just the cake, like right, I mean, forget this, the memories, but it's, just the you, cake. It's like me a better one. To me, it's like sex. You remember the if the certain if you smell a girl. And, and it, it's that one smell that you smell and smell girl, like it smell reminds you, it when gives you that girl, memory of, uh, you know, and you know who the best one is. It's you know the same what Mo thing. just said? It smells like sex. <laughs> No, I didn't say he. Guju said that. I said I said I, go, I said that. You know, Guju's like Guju yeah. said it smells like sex. And if when you go up and smell a girl, I'm like I go up and smell a girl, I get slapped. <laughs> I don't no, look no. like you, Guju. You punched. know, you know that, that that certain smell in their hair or their, or their when you're kissing their yeah. neck. There's that yeah. something that just clicks in your memory that this this must be good or it reminds you of the best girl that you've ever had. So apparently, Paulie's is just not good enough because it doesn't it's, have enough fun. Well, memories. it's just my it's my opinion. It, it, it doesn't give <laughs> me that. But it is it is really good. It doesn't though, give me that fond memory. Of, yeah, uh, of yeah I have no memory cake, for it. But, but in terms of just taste and moist and moistness and just. I sound so phallic when I'm describing this like softness. And <laughs> Don't moist. worry, I relate everything to sex too. Yeah, yeah, it's just yeah, it is it is really really good. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah. It, it, listen, Gucci yeah. Gucci thinks it's good. It just doesn't make him come. Okay, that's exactly. All right, exactly. everyone. Yeah. All right. Exactly. It's like it's just maybe just a hand job, but not a blow job. Yeah, it's, there you it's go. Just, All right, it's a really good happy ending, pretty much. Oh. Well, there's something wrong with you, but no worries. Four seven eight seven nine five four is the uh, phone number. Skype the Good Times podcast. Text us here nine two seven two one four nineteen eighty one. Gucci Lorenzana is here. Gucci, thanks for being here. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Uh, you know, I, I hear I've heard only good things uh, about you. Um, you I'm I know glad. you guys on uh, other podcasts here on the uh, on the network. So, yeah. and that's where I kind of first um, came across about you know your personality. You seem like a really good guy. So Thank it's you. it's nice to have you. Here you've got a great speaking voice. I know you sing, and I know you, you were. were Th you on, thanks you were for flirting with me. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't the voice. You were on the voice, right? Yeah. yeah. So I know you sing, but your speaking voice is is pretty spectacular. It's man. pretty sexy. Thank you, thank you. Must yeah. be sexy. <laughs> Sincerely, yeah. I like it. now, now oh, before we get into anything, and yeah. you know. Well, let's get in a little bit of cheese here, buddy. Okay. And I'm, I'm not going to throw you under the bus here because I know we spoke about it off here. But since the voice kind of threw it out, are you are, are you dating Kate Abad? Because I yeah. love Kate, and she's like a really good friend of mine. Yeah, you are. Yeah. Oh, Bianca knows. I love Kay. You've seen her. Yeah, yeah, Kay's <laughs> awesome. Kay, you, have you ever met Kay about uh, Bianca? She is. Yeah, super cool. Um, yes, I have. Yes, I have. Isn't but she just a gem? She's. I didn't really get to like super speak to her, but she has a very sweet disposition. Kay, because so she's not like the. She's not very. You know. Oh, no, no. Only because, like, I didn't want to pry. Because I also yeah. figured that it's something more private. So, and it was, what was, what was the occasion in Cebu? What's it called again? Sinulog. It's Sinulog. Yeah. So, it's kind of hard to be like, hey, yeah, okay, you know, you so. Know yeah, and, and, and she's not very, you know, social. Like, I'm, I'm more, I can go around and talk to everybody. Yeah. And she's, she's just more, she keeps her herself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I understand. I had a crush on your girlfriend. Um, I, I know. Uh, quite some time. <laughs> yeah, okay. And, and, and there, there was a point where, uh, and then I, okay, there, there's, you remember Nextel? Here's my K Bud story. You remember yes. Nextel? Yeah. Like the, 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 the walkie talkie yeah. phone. Yeah. So there was this time, and we're talking shit, you know, 12 years ago or whatever. I had this really big crush on K Bud. And, um, we were Nextel pals. And I remember she was like, you know, and we would Nextel rather regularly, you know, and stuff like that. And, um, I could have sworn like maybe, I came from a, a recent relationship and she did as well. So I was like, oh, okay. And, and I, I don't think she'll ever admit to this, but she would be like, hey, sing a song to me on Nextel <laughs> at nighttime when I'm lying down in bed. I'm like, oh my God, I think she might like me. This is greatest. But I am the worst singer of all time. So I think I started singing a Martin Rivera, like no a Haiti Sang Saglit or something. Like can you, can you try? Can you try right now? Come on. <laughs> Nothing. Boo. No wonder nothing happened, to you guys. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Damn it! Yeah. Oh, I like me, but no, no. But she is. Uh, you I may mean, have uh, a now, sexy just, speaking uh, voice, but singing thing. voice is. Nah. Uh, no, I'm off. I'm sorry. I'm, I have no talent. Okay. All right. Anyway, hey, things uh, death, Sabini and yeah. Jury things death. I miss that though. Don't you miss that? Um, 
I didn't I didn't own one. Sorry. Okay. I guess only the cool people <laughs> really own one. What, what, what was my phone? Or maybe you're, you were too, too too young then to have one. Yeah? Dude, we're like the same age. We're no, all we're the same. I'm trying to compliment your yeah. age. Yeah. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank yeah. you so much. No, don't be, uh, don't be foolish. I, I was, I was, I was one of the ano, naka, naka easy call pa ako. easy call beeper. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, one one five, five, five. No, that was no, 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 one four one, and then my beeper number was one two three seven one zero. I remember right or beeper one five one something. But no, no, love the uh, the beeper. Um, <clears throat> five years before next though. I know. I'm just saying. <laughs> Oh, yeah, so it is all right. Yeah. I know. yeah, this is this is yeah. Sh- sh- what you're referencing is far older. All right. Anyway, hey, listen. Let's. Yeah. let's what we do here, Guji. We we take calls. We'll talk about you, of course, uh, a little bit. You know, and then things you're involved in. But generally, we do take calls about people's lives and shit. They throw it out us. You can curse if you want, as you may have Fuck. seen. <laughs> yeah. Say it yeah, again. Yeah, get it out of Fuck. your system. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, we just do our best to help them out. And again, because I know you seem to be like a very pleasant guy, uh, it would be a nice to have a male figure here that's nice to people uh, on the show. So I'll, I'll try to be um, nice. Yeah, yeah because yeah. Moses no, 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 you don't have to be nice. nice. No, you don't have to be nice. You can be like I'm just saying. You seem to be like a really nice guy, and I think I, people are going to be able to connect I, I, with that. I think I'm nice. Yeah, yeah. he is nice. Yeah, he, like he is. He's very yeah, cordial. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. Except the fact that he doesn't like my cake as much as I do, but makes him an asshole. No, no, no. I, you know, I, I love the cake. It's just that it's just you asked me if it's like you know the best I've ever had. Yeah, best. Yeah, yeah. you're supposed to agree with everything. So. I, I love it. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> you have to suck <laughs> most cops, basically. <laughs> cake is cop. No, but no. I, I, yeah. It's fine. It's fine. I'm broken hearted, but it's all good. Uh, let's go to who we who do we have here first? Um, uh, line six, I think we're talking to Jeff, who's 22 years old. Hi, Jeff. Welcome to the program. Hello. Hello, yes. What's Good up, evening. buddy? You're 22 years old. What's going on, brother? Hi. Hey. Hello. Hello. Hi. Jeff. Hi. Can you hear me, What's guys? Up? Hello? Yes. We hear you fine. Yes. Hello, no? Hi. Jeff, we hear you fine. Let's <laughs> see if this is the nice part. Go. Start talking. Uh, What's the question? I'm sorry. The, the line is a mess. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, that's your fault. Yeah. Yes. Continue. What's yes, up? Yes, yes. Hey, guys. Hi. Hey. <laughs> Just waiting on you, Girl, Jeff. go now. What do you want to okay, say? Okay, so I have to ask the question now? Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. So my question is simple, actually. Tanong ko lang saan ako paano mag-approach sa celebrity na sobrang type na type mo without being freaky. Actually, I have this uh, celebrity crush. Eh, nalam ko siyang may boyfriend na para siya. Pero we've, we've met before. Mm. So I want to I want to know kung anong dapat yawin. Pero friends kayo. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. You, you, wait, wait, wait. Uh, you're in love with a celebrity? Yeah, with a celebrity. Pero uh, we've met hindi pa sa sikat. Oh. So you truly uh, are in love with her. You're not a fan. You're not a fan uh, that I'm, just. I'm wants not a fan. To... Kasi uh, actually we've met uh, during uh, an audition for a show uh, sa GMA Seven, and then. Uh, uh, ayun, na, nakapaghaya ako sa kanya Tapos uh, parang ganun lang Then it's so weird Parang, ano, parang na-inlove ako sa kanya <laughs> na parang Okay, who's, the, wait, who's the celebrity? Do we know her? Uh, she, uh, she's part of a girl group A singing group uh, named AKA Jam uh, From ABS-CBN AKA. What's her name? So, uh, she's not that sikat here, here in the Philippines eh. Parang starting oh, she's pa lang like, okay. in Brunei, May groups of channels doon na ano? Na... Maybe the the still band? in the you know they're no still idea. like being developed and okay okay or well no because the because the level of celebrity <clears throat> the level of celebrity plays big into your chances of scoring this girl I mean yeah. Yeah. if you if you call the show and you said hey I have a really big crush on Christine Reyes now what do you think about me I'm like no <laughs> sorry <laughs> um, but <laughs> if if it's if it's you know this not so sikat then you know maybe yeah. there's a Better chance of, of yeah. you Pero scoring. The guy, the guy, the, the, the problem is yung guy. Eh. Parang Super ano? Parang guy. medyo pinala siya. Eh. Parang uh, are, are you familiar with the uh, what's his name? Troy Lo- Loretta? No. No. You know, I mean, Jeez. regardless no. if the guy no. is no. famous still, or not, the point have a good chance. is she, yeah, you have a great the, chance. Yeah, I know. No, I mean, the point is Troy's listening to the show. Damn. Even if <laughs> right, right, go ahead, do it. Even if uh, the boyfriend is famous or not, the point is he has a, she has a boyfriend. So, of course, I I know that you're gonna say like you know the best man wins, but yeah. thing is, my, my guy, na uh, I mean, you don't want to be a douche about it. You don't. You want to respect the guy, but the thing is, if it's still fair game, you guys have been friends for a long time now. It 
if there's any. He said they uh, met. Oh, they just met. They met before, like they were friends before, before she, was, she was famous. <laughs> Which means last oh, week. Well, yeah. you, you have no chance. <laughs> Last week, last week. That's why we have no idea who these people are. <laughs> oh, no, oh, poor guy. Jeff, you know what? Um, you know, Mo sometimes uh, says this, and Mo, I'm not trying to speak for you, where he yeah, said sure. where, you know, you can be try to be the friend, and hopefully if she cries on your shoulder, but that's not the scenario. You guys aren't close friends. It's yes. just more of... You knew her from before. So if ever, the first step would be rather than try and see kung may pag-asa ka sa kanya, it's more of see first if you can even be her friend. You know, be her friend. Like communicate with oh. her. Like have a conversation with her. You might find out she stinks. Or yeah. Something. Yeah. 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 Or she doesn't like polys. And then you know, that's completely <laughs> yeah. No, but here's my thing, dude. Uh, I, I, I agree. I, sh- I mean, re- seriously now. I, I agree with the uh, sentiments here of, of Bianca and Gucci. Is you want to go the friend route here because the moment you show some sort of romantic interest, don't be surprised if you get punched in the fucking bridge of your nose. Yeah. Or, <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Shot, yeah. sure. The guy, the, the girl's got a boyfriend, and when you pursue her, she might even be insulted by that because you know that she has a boyfriend yeah. and still get you pursue her, and or likely he will find out. And he'll kick your ass. So, with that in mind, uh, if you're yeah, a friend, yeah. and, and yeah, listen, yeah. I've had celebrity friends who have had boyfriends, mm-hmm. and secretly I've had the greatest crush on them. What do I do? I wait. I wait for them to break up. Mm-hmm. And the moment they break up and they need a shoulder to cry on, that's where you swoop in and you become a friend. And then, you know, you, all of a sudden, you can establish some sort of connection. But be there right now. Be Hang around a little bit. You know, make sure that your existence is acknowledged and all of these things. But, but how often do you get to talk her. to this girl? Like, when was the last time you spoke to her? Last week, no. So, audition. I love... <laughs> Before she was sick at. <laughs> oh, what was the... Yeah, but how Jess, often, yeah. when was the last time you spoke to her? Hello? Well, I know. When yeah, was the last time? time you spoke to her? You spoke to her? Uh, the other night. Oh, oh. So yeah. <laughs> by a next L, you sang a little Martin Rivera. <laughs> What's going on here? Hello. Yeah. Yes. You go. gotta get a new phone. Yes, That's we have, we have we have common friends. Uh, oh. parang ay nga. Bigla na lang ako nagbulat na kasi hindi niya ina announce na she has a boyfriend. Then I checked her Twitter. That's it. Meron pala. <laughs> So, okay. Oh God! If you don't even know that. All right. Okay. Yeah. You're you're so far away from this girl right now, dude. Um. Yeah. I mean, if you don't need, if you had to check her Twitter, not just an yeah. acquaintance type of relationship, but an actual Relation. friendship. Yeah. Friendship. Yeah. Like an actual friendship. Yeah. Because right now you're just acquaintances. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You guys are not even friends. If you have to find out that she has a boyfriend via her Twitter feed, then you are. Yeah. You're. Uh, this is your guys are in a different time zone right now. You have to just slowly kind of make your way in there. Get her to even mm-hmm. acknowledge that you're her friend. Yes, and from there, sing her shade, ba? Go to her gigs. Oy, yeah. 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 Oh, be, be a supportive yeah. person and be like, hey, remember we met at this audition? Do you remember who I am and all that? And then yeah. establish something. Go to one gig. That's true. If you're in every gig, <laughs> then it's a problem. Yeah. You go to one. <laughs> <laughs> and make sure she knows that you're there supporting her. But that's it. Or once a month or something. Or but but certainly not. You but know, try the whole to get her schedule. attention. Ooh. That's for sure. Yeah. And you know, girls like it. Yeah, if you pay attention to them. So yeah, going to that gig is uh is is certainly a bonus to you remembering that you guys met before and you guys were friends. That's another. But yeah, if you overdo it, it's a little bit too much. If you come on too strong, you're actually gonna scare her away. Yeah. Be a bit mysterious. Yeah, and there are some celebrities now. They're not even like Ann Curtis levels and they feel like oh my god this guy likes me like I'm so famous mm-hmm. I'm so famous of course he likes me Parang he, she can't even <laughs> wrap her thought around the fact that you guys were actually friends before to you to her it could be you're just a guy who likes me of course mm-hmm. you like me because I'm hot you know I'm a celebrity right. no, 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 let me do this before oh, we let you go real quick here yeah. can you give me her Twitter name I just want to see what she looks like <laughs> twitter.com slash what yeah what's her Twitter name uh, um, at underscore copy paster. I know that. Oh, I don't like this girl already. But anyway, never. Uh, copy underscore bad. under copy paster. I think copy paster because I, I work as a copywriter, advertising copywriter. No, not you, oh, no, the no, girl. No, 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 no. Not, yeah, I want to know the, who cares about you. Uh, oh, what's the girl's uh, uh, sorry, Twitter? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Because the line is kind of messy. So yeah, I got you. Okay. Yeah. Hello. Yes. What's, yes, her, what's we her Twitter? Love you. You're a the good girl. Sport. Yeah. What's the Twitter of the girl? Oh, her Twitter. Yes. Yeah. 
Hello? Yes, what's, yes, what's her your Twitter? Twitter? Her Twitter. We're, we're, we're waiting. Give it to me. I want to see what she looks like. Uh, uh, it's uh, Monique. Monique. Uh huh. Underscore. Yep. N I X. Monique Nix. Nix. Oh, hey. She hot? Eh. Eh. She's a eh. seven. Eh. A seven? <laughs> Don't with <Six> <laughs> Yeah, six and a half strong, whatever. Yeah. Monique. All right, brother. Yeah, good luck on that. <laughs> good stuff. Right. Have a good one, man. All right, all right. <laughs> all right. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. I got to get another photo in. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Let so me make sure. Oh, oh she's a, she, uh, she uh, managed by... Ooh. Oh, she's managed by uh, Angelic Valenciano? Is that it? Oh, oh, I see. Ah, she's under oh, okay. them. Okay. Okay. Yeah, she got a lot of pictures of like, Gary Vee and stuff. Huh? Hey, I'll take back my seven. Uh, five. Okay. No, I, like I thought you were going to give her higher. Okay. No, no, no. no, 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 no realistic. She must sing really, yeah. really good. <laughs> or is she... Yeah. <laughs> I can take back the whole nice guy thing. All right. Uh, it is a Wednesday night here on the podcast. Phone number 478 Skype, the Good Times Podcast. Text us here, 927-214-1981. Let's take a call here. Which one do you guys want? I, I, I'm leaning towards the second choice here, but uh, Girl from Laguna wants to know if, uh, does everyone have bisexual tendencies or King in Bulacan is gay and in love with his uh, best friend? Ooh, Which one do you guys want? Bisexual, bisexual tendencies. tendencies. Really? I was leaning towards the game in love with the We're best We're going to get to that anyway. Yeah. Come on. Oh, okay. Sorry. Guys, can you get uh, the... Does everyone have bisexual tendencies? Before yep. we get to her, because I, 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 apparently they had someone else on hold, mm-hmm. I want to ask you, does every girl have a hidden lesbian in them? I'm sure. Um, Do you? Of course. I mean, Ooh, I think from... I think it's more of... People... You know how they say like they have girl crushes? I think there's there's appreciation and then there's admiration and then it stems into i could maybe kiss her i could maybe you know there's sometimes they confuse the the admiration to a crush like a genuine crush like a boy girl crush um i think it's easier especially for females because females in general are more affectionate towards other girls Mm -hmm. i mean like in all girls school like we're all wearing skirts and we're all like sitting down like we're all hugging each other we hold hands when we go to the bathroom what school is this no i'm just saying like in (laughs) general right as opposed to guys so i i can see how girls would probably cross that line a little bit more and then especially now with you know being bisexual girl porn you've never crossed that line You've never gone like, oh my God, look at that girl. She's so cute. She's so hot. She's so this. I would really right now make out with this girl if she would let me. I came from an all girls school. So it's like. I came from an all boys school. There's no way once I ever looked at a guy's ass and go, mm, gotta have some of that. Yeah, I've, 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 had just, had my, <laughs> I've had my share of crushes. I've definitely had my share of crushes. I've definitely had like a genuine crush on a girl where I really thought, wow, if I went for her, would I have a chance? Like I actually saw myself like as the dude. Really? But actually, really like being with someone no it like i said it comes in levels it's one thing to acknowledge a certain feeling and then acting on it yeah you know so okay bisexual tendencies for sure like just thinking about it but making it a physical thing is a totally like yeah but the fact the fact that you've thought sexually about it that that means that you had the tendencies yeah definitely because i think for a guy if if there's no sexual aspect to it at all then then it's not. It's not. For as long as you can't get a boner from another dude. That's right. I, I agree to that. <laughs> yeah. Right. Like yeah. so. So we, so so guys do not have the bisexual tendency I as think, often as yeah, as often. I, but I but I think it's there. The admiration yeah. is there. I think guys do admire man that guy man he he work, he must work out you know yeah. and he has nice shoulders i want nice shoulders too yeah because you know but ours always, is out of kind of like jealous not jealousy yeah, it's it's like, thing. Fuck, not, not I, too I want, negative yeah. but more like right i, I want to be or an athlete like guys are so into sports and we're we're so much in sport and we idolize these guys but there's no way i'm gonna fucking make out with lebron yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no yeah. okay for example like with girls like i mean with guy to guy when you see let's say let's say brad pitt you won't look at brad pitt and be like 
damn, he's got a nice ass in Troy. You know, you're not gonna. I want to smack that, right? Yeah, but I think I think he's a great looking guy. Exactly. I, I look at his face and I'm like, Fuck, but see, that that's nowhere nice. near. Yeah. That's nowhere near bisexual tendencies. Yeah. I know, but a that's girl. No, that's just all the obvious. We're such visual guys. Guys are so visual yes. that if we see another guy, there's nothing wrong with saying, oh, he's yeah. a really good looking guy. But bisexual tendencies, I mean, to actually be attracted now to the guy is completely different and does not happen with yeah all guys i mean unless you are bisexual but have you ever bisexual enjoyed ten, have you ever enjoyed sorry, bisexual a, tendencies oh. for a guy only occurs if you were in fact bisexual mm -hmm. yes have you been have you ever enjoyed hugging a guy another guy like have you enjoyed that hug i know a if lot I won of the championship that, i know a lot of guys <laughs> that hug and and hold if each i other's hit a crotches. huge three at the end of the game to win i'm gonna hug the fuck out of this guy okay. but yeah but aside from that there's no other kind of i enjoy the warmth and the, <laughs> the warmth the yeah yeah i have or you know no it, it, i don't think that occurs but you know what's kind of weird about okay there's i don't think bisexuality or bisexual tendencies uh, um exist with non-bisexuals with heterosexual male mm -hmm. however i do we feel that we have very homoerotic um kind of weird desires like there's nothing hotter than a girl in a in a fucking a Dwayne wade jersey like to you a girl wearing a jersey like hey put my jersey on and then all of a sudden like i want to fuck you now it's like wait a minute why i'm wearing Dwayne wade's jersey it's like, it's like yeah but when a girl wears a like on. the it's man like, shirt like his his long yeah, sleeves I, or that's I why now that. the trend is that. the boyfriend jean because yeah. it's supposedly you had sex and then the day after you don't have fresh clothes you wear your boyfriend's jeans but but it's homoerotic you think yeah. that the hottest thing for me yeah. is to see my girl wearing dude clothes why, why is that all of a sudden super hot for me because it's kind of like clothing because you're looking at her and you're thinking i it's literally that's me all over her like that's mm -hmm. me on her you know that's like my you think sweat that's my everything it's a territorial i don't know thing. it's a territorial thing it's ego it's like she's wearing me she has me right, wrapped but no, around no, no, no. Her. like okay for example i remember okay so i was watching asap and i see kim chu and kim chu's fine she's not she's not ugly she, but she's not like incredibly hot to me at least okay and then she put on a pal gasol jersey and i wanted to rub my dick on the tv <laughs> <laughs> Have no, you done that before? I don't before? know Kim. No, I don't know Kim. She's not a friend of mine. She's not my territory either. Then obviously it it's not about the girl. When, yeah, it's just it about the when image she that on she portrays. The yeah. jersey. Yeah. I was like, oh my god, I need to fucking. I need to. I need to ejaculate. Right okay. Now. Then like, do you remember awesome. that image? Okay. Do you remember that image? That's Who's that Iran? boxer? That famous boxer who was caught wearing like spandex. Oh, and, Oscar um, De La Hoya. Oscar De La Hoya. It's like if I saw my man wearing that, I mean, that's not like wearing a jersey. Um, yeah, him wearing run. pantyhose and he's wearing a bra and he's wearing like a pa what do you call it? Those fluffy little shawls. Well, listen, bra's fine. We, 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 the moment you see someone, a dude wearing a bra, yeah, and he was your guy, and it was Oscar De La Hoya, you would run. <laughs> exactly, it's, right? It's because guy, girls want their guys to look masculine. Masculine. W guys, I, well, for me, I want my girl to look feminine, even in men's clothing. I know, you but know? so why do you think with Mo, it's like that jersey, and it's like... Well, I don't know. For, I, for, for me, for me, it, guys. It, for me, it's because if, if she looks sim if she looks still, if she looks beautiful, and and even in that simple get yes. up yes then that in means something you don't expect her to look amazing in there you go yeah. yeah you know what it is it brings variety to the same thing guys are guys are guys are as you know big on variety yes and if you can throw something there that's different but on the same girl that i have the hots for then that's super hot yeah Perhaps. Oh, well, let's talk to this guy here. F, sorry, man. We kept it on hold. We already had a whole discussion about it. Um, you are 21 in Laguna, line six. What's up, F? What the Hi, F? F? Hi, F. Hello. Hi. Hello. Okay. Oh, F, you already sound gay, buddy. Now, F, is, is it because you are attracted to guys you're asking this question and you consider yourself homosexual? I mean, heterosexual? Kind of. I just so dead. Baby, no, you, you sound, sound gay, gay, dude. You yeah, sound gay, buddy. It's, it, yeah, it's hmm. That's not. Yeah, this is not. And Jeffrey. there's nothing you wrong sound, with that. There's nothing wrong with that. We're just saying that it, you're. It's kind of obvious yes. that you are. It's okay to be gay, buddy. Yeah. 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 And it's it. You should never. You should never uh, mistaken be gay way, and, for bisexuality either. Yeah. If you, if you, we already. Yeah, sorry, sorry to cut you off, but we said, we said, 
This dude said one line so far. And we've already told him he's had a dick in his ass. He said, kinda. And we were like, oh, no, no, no. You've got a dick in your butthole right now. Yeah, yeah. But, but, no, I mean, we've but, already, but for, him to say, ahead, for him to say kinda in, yeah. in that manner. It's either you are and you aren't. You, you just you can <laughs> but, just tell that, that he's, he's struggling with it. Yeah. So you know what? I think sometimes <laughs> the reason why we, we throw out the word bisexuality is because it's not as full on as gay. So sometimes it's kind of having that was like pretty deep, Bianca. It's like yeah, it's like from a one to ten. <laughs> it's like saying bisexual is like a five, as opposed to saying I'm a full on ten. You know, so you're kind of easing your way in. Sure. I'm sorry, sure, it doesn't yeah. sound right, no, but you're yeah, easing the cock in. F, have you have you had a girlfriend before? F. Yeah, I had hold a girlfriend on. before, like have, in high school. Okay. Did you guys have so sex? What, what, wait, what, wait, hold on. I want to know, why did you call the show tonight? Yes. That's a good question. <laughs> uh, I, I ask it because it really bugs me because of, because some of my classmates like mentioned that um, you can, that some someone can um, can convert a straight into a bisexual. Like, it really bugs nope. me. And I, I want to know in someone's perspective if if it's real or no. no 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 take it from guys from showbiz no yeah can't can't it can't be done if i'm i'm a straight guy for example look, look, okay it can be done for girls girls can and i'm sorry females to generalize you and whatever and you can correct me if i'm wrong but the females can be straight their whole life they think they're straight their whole life and then meet an amazing girl. And this girl touches them in a way, not agree. touches them physically, but touches them in a way in, in like an emotional way. about that, yeah. yeah mm-hmm. Right, that can, that can make them all of a sudden fall in love. Yeah. We do not have that. Because it's an emotional since, thing. Yeah, it's yeah, an emotional since, thing. But, since uh, Guji has stepped into the studio, I am nothing. I can say nothing but the, the nicest things about him. Like we were having a conversation off air, and I can tell by his demeanor and the way he carries himself and the way his cadence when he speaks that he's a really great guy, and I really like him Like in terms of like yeah. he could date my sister, and I'm all over that. It's fine. But, but there's no way in hell I'm going to make out with him. But Mo, can I ask something? Because <laughs> I yeah. think what he's trying to say is, because he's saying, <clears throat> my classmates are saying that you can turn gay from being straight. And he says it's really confusing him. So my follow-up so question, yeah, my follow-up question is, could it be that, you know how sometimes as you grow up, you don't realize that you're gay? Like it just, I, again, I don't know, but you know how some people, it comes later on in life because maybe they've suppressed it or or something happened to them that triggered it yeah, and traumatic, finally, yeah. boom, it, it just exploded. So I'm thinking maybe he's trying to say that maybe he may have had doubts because he said kinda. Mm-hmm. He had doubts from before, so maybe he's thinking, I could have sworn I was straight, but now that I heard this thing and I'm kinda confused right now could it be that i'm gay maybe that's well maybe let's ask him how long has he been attracted to guys yeah. f throughout the years yeah how long how many years have you been attracted to men um just recently this college okay okay well you know then it's just starting to materialize you, you like know, yeah. your sexuality your sexual identity it's yeah. starting to really kind of sink in and that happens in people this age i mean sure maybe you're a little yeah. late bloomer at 21 and maybe this happens at 15 i don't know but you know, it sounds normal to me. I think you're going, maybe what Bianca said earlier, you're making that transition from heterosexual and in a year or two, you'll be exclusively gay. Who who knows? F, Sorry, Guji, you are saying. F, um, I was going to ask you, uh, you know, I, my, one of my best friends in the States uh, decided that he was gay uh, one day and uh, one of the best suggestions or one of the best things I've ever heard from him was one day he just decided to go and, go and try it. So my suggestion for you, and I know there's a lot of taboos behind this, is explore your sexuality. Find out if you're really gay. If you're, if I mean, I really believe it. If you want to try it, that means you probably are. But yeah. I totally. suggest you jump, jump in and and just you yeah. know. Because if you don't like it, you can go back to being straight. At least alam mo na you have peace of mind that yeah. ah, not my thing. Exactly. And I, I like what Gucci said here because it's like with everything in life. Well, let's just take the whole chocolate cake thing we were talking about. <laughs> you are we never going to get no, over this no, chocolate listen, cake. I'll, I'll tell you, we did 15 minutes on how great it was, yet yeah. Bianca didn't take one bite. Dude. dude. No, and, and She's almost done. Right? Have you seen my bowl? Yeah. It's gone. No, 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 no. 
We, we, no, no, no. In the beginning of the show, we did 15 minutes yeah. prior to the show. Yeah. We're talking about it with the staff and everybody of how this is the greatest cake of all time. Yeah. And Bianca hasn't taken one bite. And then she just finally did it. Now, Bianca, the moment you had it, the, the moment it touched your mouth the very first time, wasn't it like, okay, so this is what everybody's talking about? Mm-hmm. Same thing with this guy. You can, your, your friends can talk about the, whole, the homosexual thing. You can have the tendencies. You can look at that plate of gay and go, I want a bite. But just like Guji said, why not just take a bite? See what it's like, mm-hmm. and see if it is in fact as 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 is. It's as everything's uh, as everyone says it is. Does that make sense? Oh, it's yeah. so fucking good. There's nothing like just doing it. Say that. Remember again. that call we had a couple. We gotta take a break, but we're running late. Remember that call we had. Now this one, I don't. I don't. Well, I was weirded out, Bianca. I don't know if you were here, but this was fairly recently on the show, mm-hmm. where the guy said, "I think I was gay. I thought I was gay. Not hundred percent sure about it until." I was about to put my dick in this guy's ass and I realized this is disgusting and I never went back. <laughs> hey, that's great. Like, wow. that, that is a major Boy, really? yeah. I know, but the whole part of like, even just making out with him, you were still kind of not sure. Yeah, I wasn't sure yet. He had his hand on your dick. You're not sure yet? No. It was right when I was about to put it in his asshole. And I said, you know what, bro? This is probably not for me. And I'm like, wow. Pico, that was a chopper was here on that show, right? It was yep. a Friday. Mm-hmm. What a call. And I was like, dude, really? It had to take you all the way to the moment? Uh, Wow. So he sucked dick. He did everything. Oh, my God. Yeah, he did everything. Until he got to the ass part and said, you know what? I'm not enjoying it. You know what it is? Maybe because he was closing the eyes. No, but I'm sorry. It is nothing like a vagina. That's right. It's like, let's let's, let's refer it back to eating. It's like eating a dish. Eating the entire thing and go, this is fucking disgusting. <laughs> you could have just got it at the first bite and realized it's no, it's not really that great. I know, I know a lot of people who are like, oh, this is not really good, but they finish it anyway. Anyway, it's annoying. No, but it was disgusting. He was like, dude, and I was like, and I, you know, the way he carried himself, not like the way F is, which is kinda, you know, the guy was like, dude. I was, it was like, bro, I was there, right? And like, my dick was out. And it just, it wouldn't get hard because like, I just couldn't put it in his ass. It was so gross. And I'm like, what took you so long to realize that? I don't know, man. And I was just thinking, okay, he's an intellectual lightweight. Maybe he's just so dumb yeah. that he just couldn't get his Or maybe he was so together. horny that he was like, I can do this. I can do this. I want this. I want yeah, this. But yeah. the Be- final straw was like, dude, I can't. Yeah, because you could psych yourself yeah, out. But yeah. then, you know, at, right, no, wait, but wait. he did it. He did it with the intention to find out whether he was gay or not. Well, oh. some people really go through great lengths to find out who they I know. are. Yeah. We fucking love yeah. these. I love it. All right, F. Anyway, back to you, buddy. So we can wrap it up. We really got to go. We're running late. Uh, and if you I, do I have sex, wrap it up. Yeah, yes. I think the best advice the we same. heard uh, tonight was was Guji just saying, "Go out and try it." As simple, it's simple, but it's it's perfect. Thanks. Try it. We we hear it in your voice, man. I, I I really do feel, and you said that you're attracted to men. Yeah, that, and- the moment you admit that you're attracted to men, that's that's well beyond what more what any normal heterosexual guy would say. I would say when a guy's good looking, I would say all of that stuff. I would never say I'm attracted to this guy mm-hmm. and it's been going on for a long time. Hey, and the F- mere fact that you can admit that means there's something there. And you F, um, you were saying that your classmates, but they make all these comments and you're getting confused. So right now, as you're trying to figure out who you are, you don't need to tell anyone. You don't need to let others be involved in this life-changing decision. Because... They're only going to influence you. They're going to tease you. And especially now, you're in a very, you know, confused, fragile state. Anything right now can just really fuck you up psychologically. Mm -hmm. So do it privately. You don't have to let anyone know. And then once you're really secure of who you are, gay, straight, whatever it is, then if you're open enough and if you're brave enough to let people know, then you do that. But for now, just keep it to yourself. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, head over to Moroto over there or, or, uh, <laughs> on Friday. Fix that shit up real quick. All right, let's take a break. When we come back, to, oh, that was a long first gap, man. We were way over time. Sorry about that, guys. We'll try to speed up the process when we come back from this commercial break. It's Good Times to Mo the Podcast, Season 2, brought to you by Globe. Don't go away. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. We're always on the move. It's really important for us to get 
better and stronger for every competition that we get into. For all the different lifestyles that we have, some of us are graphic artists, filmmakers, we still find ways to get together. We put a lot of effort in practicing and rehearsing. Sometimes there are suddenly shows or auditions, so it's really important for us to get connected. I use my Globe group messaging to get a hold of everybody else. Malayo na rin ang narating namin, marami na rin kaming napuntahan. So it's really important to get connected. SM3 Day Sale Everything for the scary and sweet is at SM Supermalls. The SM3 Day Sale happens on October 18, 19, and 20 at SM City Bikutan. SM3 Day Sale Up to 70% off on great finds. Shop and get a chance to win Suzuki motorcycles. SM3 Day Sale The SM3 Day Sale on October 18, 19, and 20 at SM City Bikutan. See posters or print ads for details. Per DTI NCR permit number 6125, series of 2013. Hi. They say nothing in this world is free. And for the most part, that's true. But here at NMF Network, all shows are indeed 100% free. And as an added feature, you have the option to subscribe to all your favorite programs, also at no charge. Why should you subscribe? By subscribing, you no longer have the hassle of delays when you stream the program. You also don't need to keep checking our site to see if your favorite programs are up because they'll automatically be uploaded to your device as soon as it's available. Here's how to do it. For those people with Apple mobile devices, first you need to download the podcast app. Once you download the podcast app, open it and you should be taken to the featured page. Now, you look for the store button. Hit the store button and after doing that, hit the search button. Put your cursor on it and type New Media Factory. All our shows should automatically appear. Pick your favorite or favorites. Open it and hit subscribe. And that's it. You're done. Congratulations and welcome to the New Media Factory family. Friends says she hates me. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. Back on the program here. It is Wednesday night. Good Times with Mo, the podcast, season two, brought to you by Globe. On the show tonight, Bianca Valerio, of course, as well as Gucci Lorenzo. Gucci, thanks for being here, man. Hope you're having fun. I'm having a great time. Thanks. Good. Excellent. Um, uh, Bianca, I have something to. Sorry, Gucci. Excuse me for a sec. I have something to tell you. Okay. Remember yesterday on the uh, on the show, we were talking about never trust girls when it comes to numbers? the numbers mm -hmm. that they throw out there. Mm -hmm. And um, if you ask a girl, Guji, I, I've come to this conclusion that if you ask a girl about anything related with numbers, they're going to lie to you. How old are you? That's a lie. How much What's do you weight? weigh? That's a lie. What's your dress size? That's a lie. How many guys have you slept with? You're going to get a lie. That's What's a your lie. phone number? You'll probably get a <laughs> lie if she doesn't like you. Um, anything with numbers. It's fucking lies. Yeah. Okay. How old were you when you lost your virginity? Always a lie. So yesterday, some guy called the show and said, hey, Bianca, how old were you when you lost your virginity? Mm -hmm. And I told Bianca, wait, before you answer that, I want you to know all girls lie, right? And I'm not saying you're lying because you're my friend and I know that you know, I'm going to trust you with your answer, Bianca, mm -hmm. but all girls lie. Okay. And she said, okay, I was 18 when I lost my virginity, said Bianca mm -hmm. Valerio. And then... On an episode, hold on, sometime in, I think it was August, was it August or somebody asked that question to you? You know what you said then? What? 16. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll never know. <laughs> that's wrong. Someone did the Are research. you sure? That's impossible, <laughs> yes. though. Somebody sent me the clip. They said, hey, you remember your, you, somebody sent me the clip uh, last night. And they said, hey, Mo, remember when you were talking about on the show yesterday how girls always lie about their uh, anything <laughs> involving numbers? And then I, I sent them a DM, yeah, what's up? And they go, check this out. This is Bianca. And she he gave me the date, or she gave me the date of the episode. 
and a clip saying, oh, wow. and it was me going, how old are you when you your virginity? And Bianca was like, 16. <laughs> <laughs> Last night, naging 18. <laughs> Oh, well, I lost track, people. But to be honest, I it was actually was on my awesome. 18th birthday. I That's why I can't believe I said succeed. It happened on my 18th birthday, on my debut. Like, on your debut? Like, itself? I mean, I didn't have a debut, but yeah. meaning, you know, it's like my 18th birthday, okay. like my debut. And I remember because it, it was right on my birthday night, and I and the next day I, I told my mom, like, I told my Yeah. yeah so, you, you lost your virginity on your birthday. Was that something wow. that you kind of crossed out? In the like, you no, know, it in just, terms of it just okay, honestly, I'm gonna finally just, do this. It just, I can't say it just happened. Like, I knew that, um, of course, I had it wasn't a oh my god, it just happened. Like, I knew that it's probably gonna happen, and then you know what, I wanted to make it special, and I, I, I knew that I was gonna tell my mom about it. I even eventually told my dad about it. I was very honest with them. Um, my dad was not very happy about right, it. Right, but was it yeah. something? Was it something? Obviously, I mean, there's no parents gonna like, yeah. you know pop open a bottle, yeah. but it was it something that <laughs> was premeditated? Like, it says, I am gonna. I want to lose my virginity on my 18th birthday. It wasn't no it's something I wanted. To do. It, it wasn't it. W- of course, every girl hopes to do the I'm going to wait for marriage. Mm-hmm. You know, everyone will hope that. But it doesn't happen that way. And uh, Obviously. so I was um, seeing this person and and I guess I knew in my heart like I wanted to corny. I wanted to give myself to this person. I really cared about him, and and I knew like I guess I was being corny about it. When am I gonna do it? So I just thought of my birthday. Like I to do it. So much power there when you have a vagina about what you can do, what you can control, what you can plan. Like if I go back and I think about the day I lost my virginity, I mean, fuck, who knew I was gonna lose my virginity that day? If well, I what, knew what, it, what I was yours a like? A, it more. just happened. Like I, it well, just I, happened. I lived. I lived in, with a roommate. And he had the better room. I had yeah. the smaller room because I could, I mean, I was, I was 15. So, you know, he had the better bedroom and I had the, the smaller room because I was in college at the time. So, um, he was a celebrity yeah. and he was out like at taping or something. And I said, you know, me and my girlfriend at the time, we were making out so torridly in past episodes that I knew it was just kind of around the corner. Like one day we're going to really like just, just do this thing. And my bedroom was shit. I mean, it, it was awful. And I was like, oh, fuck. So we were kind of making out and stuff like that. Okay. And then I did the whole, um, I, uh, I have a condom. Do you want to use it? <laughs> And so you, like, you already had a secret stash like ready for well, ru- I mean, to rumble. I, I didn't have one though. It was my it was my roommate oh, because I knew okay, he had him okay, yeah. in, in his. And again, he was a celebrity, so he was bringing celebrity chicks over all the time, and yeah. you know he would have sex with them and all of these things. So yeah. and and I was like, and at the, at the time he was a he was a sizable celebrity at the time. So I was like, um, so I was like, oh okay okay. So I go, hey, um, I have a condom, which it wasn't mine; it was his, but I knew where I saw it in his room. And I go, do you want me to get it? And she said, okay. <laughs> so so what i did is like so i said okay but it's in his room yeah and she's like okay let's go over there so i knew he was coming home soon so i went to his room and we were having sex while i was looking out the window like a dog waiting for the guy to get arrived so, so what I mean, was that like it wasn't pleasant there was a lot of ouches yeah. and ow that hurts and and you know this and that and whatnot but uh it was at the same i'm saying like at when i was doing it quote unquote i was also staring out the window to make sure his van wouldn't just drive up no. and and know that i'm fucking some girl it in would his be room. worse if like you didn't realize he was home and then <laughs> the whole time and then suddenly he just burst into the door and oh that would that would yeah but we're bros always. you know it, it, yeah, it's not gonna be a problem oh, okay. We're bros, okay, you know okay, but okay. but uh, yeah. but it's just you don't want there's no jizzing on anyone's face i just right? I, for me yeah, i don't remember do when my first oh, time you was. you don't remember? Honestly. God, that's how many corpses you've left. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, because my girlfriend at the time, we were, we were together for a long time, and we've always played around with the idea of doing it. Yeah. And you know how you kind of do it, but then you don't, and then right. it just, one day you're just doing it? It, it was like that. But Andu, yours, one day you're not doing no, it, and you're kind of... You know how I said earlier, like, like dry we, were, humping. We, were, we were making yes. out so torridly okay. already, okay. and so, like, so, much, so much is happening except penetration that oh. you knew it was going to... Just happened. no, with me it was like I knew, I knew like when well, I. Well, no, that's what that I'm saying. Door, with like, girls, you can completely decide. We can decide shit. when. You can decide where. You can but decide she, how. You can decide all of know. these things. She didn't even know. Even if I if I would ask her today, she would not know when the exact time was. Oh. 
Okay. Because it would it would kind of go in and then kind of not and then kind of go in kind of not and then one day it was yeah. just already in. Uh, just you know, like, <laughs> I have a better. So I, I even have. I'll even do you one better. So I so okay. the girl I lost my virginity with you yeah. with the whole I have a condom and all that stuff and blah blah blah. Mm. So I was talking to her recently and I said, uh, you remember when we you know we we did it and you know lost her virginity thing? She was like. Yeah. I, th- I thought I lost my virginity to this other guy. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, my God. oh, that's crazy. And I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> oh my God. She thought she lost her virginity to the boyfriend after me. Well, for I me, was like, it was, it's very special, that that memory of, of that. I, but I'm a girl. Like, for guys, though, well, what's going through your mind? You know why like, I want to lose my virginity? Why? Because I heard about... Uh, uh, year 2000 and it might be the end of the world oh yeah. so I was when I was like 15 I was Y2K. like Y2K I was like oh my god five more years and we might all die so I need to have sex soon that's that's one reason why are you why. serious yeah I, I'm so serious oh wow okay. it, it was my motivation that, that puts you at 16 I was 15 15 okay yeah yeah Wow, all right. Good stuff, man. <laughs> and see, things we don't lie about our age. Yeah, we don't care. Yeah. If I could say 14, I'd say 14, but I was 15. Yeah, yeah. It sucks. Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah I got gotcha. you. Oh, well. All right, let's get to more calls here. <laughs> I had to throw that out there. Sorry, love. All right, let's go to... No, not at all. Here? Not at all. I'm even surprised that I actually said that. That was That's weird, because yeah, you... I usually don't share anything on the show. Well, thank you for sharing. That's, and that's why I know wow. you were lying, but I didn't want to call you a liar because we're friends. But at the same time, it, it just validates that... Girls fucking lie about these things. I, I mean, I, I can lie. swear like, whatever, now. If I told on... you right now, how many, if I asked you right now, how many guys have you slept with right now? Whatever your answer is, I know it's bullshit. I, I wouldn't say, though. That's a thing. Mm-hmm. So yeah, well, it fine. could be one. But if I it force you to say 500, you know? Damn, 500. I'll take the, I'll take the latter. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um... Um, all right. Well, let me. Well, since we're on the topic, then fine. Uh, Guji, how many girls have you slept with? Honestly, I don't know the number, and I know it's pretty high. Fuck. Yeah. I'm sorry. What? You don't know why? And it's what? pretty it's high. It's pretty high, but I don't know the number. If you it's were about gonna seven. give a rough, <laughs> it's pretty high. Like, give me ballpark. Like a hundred. I wouldn't say a hundred, but uh, I would Holy say. Holy fuck! I would man. say the it's, fact it's that you've been. I. I it, I don't know. It's just uh, when you're a guy and you're single and you you know you go out a lot. Hey, no judgment. I mean, I've, honestly, I I would guy, expect and guys. And I would expect guys like you, there. especially celebrities, to bang a lot of chicks. But it's not that I went out there and looked to bang chicks. Well, actually, sometimes you do. Guys okay. Do that. But uh, but it it just you know I respect the girl and I respect whoever that I was with at yeah. the time. But it, it was you know when you're exploring. But I gotta ask, okay, because you know, like Mark Nelson was here in the show, like that time that you were sick, you know, he filled in for you. And, sure. you know, we were talking about sex and, and all these things. And he was saying that, you know, Mark Nelson can pretty much get any girl he wants. <laughs> He's Mark and Nelson, and yeah. that goes yeah. the same for you. And Mo, that even goes the same for you, too. No, I've played the celebrity. Listen, I, I, I gotta be honest, I've had sex because of the celebrity ness of my, of my occupation, but it's nothing like if I was a good looking celebrity. It's, it, there's a difference between like, handsome and celebrity and just celebrity when you're when you look like mars mark nelson and then you fucking in fact are mark nelson you can be fucking a different girl every single night i, I strongly believe that yeah i believe that and i and i know yeah. people that I, are like that. okay I yeah well yeah so my question is it's it's are you the type like are you the type of guy where when you're single like you go all out but when you're in a relationship like have you ever cheated before like have you when i'm in a relationship i don't cheat and uh well Probably, you know, yeah. Obviously, but 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 being being as honest as I can be, I, I don't cheat when I'm in a relationship. And the weird thing is, when you're in a relationship, it's like you don't have as much sex or you don't have as much playtime. Why? Um. Well, I guess in my situation, uh, when I was single, it's it's a matter of exploring and having to find that connection. But when okay. you you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and yeah, for yeah. me, sex is such an important thing. And when it comes to connecting with somebody that you're with, mm-hmm. sure. And if you can't have that passion or that connection, or you don't smell that smell that that yeah. just gives you that wow, this is oh, this is great, this is yeah. awesome, then I don't think it's worth pursuing. It's like for me, when you meet a girl, a kiss is very important. And in that first kiss, you'd be able yeah. to tell whether how 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 good they are as as a person, uh, mm-hmm. and with, if they know how to take care of you, if if they're because if they're too strong, if they give too much, it's you know all that. 
and, yeah. and it, everything comes together within that kiss. Everything does come together within the sex. If there's one thing wrong for me, and I, I'm, I'm sorry to be harsh with like girls out there, but if there's one thing wrong with me in that sexual experience, I'm not going to continue the relationship. I totally, I totally agree with you with that. I mean, with kissing more than anything, I find it even more intimate than sex. Yeah. But yeah, but even even more so if if the sexual experience is awesome and everything fits, yeah. then I will go for that relationship. I'll make sure that that there's something You'll that happens. You'll really nurture that. it, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And yeah. If, you, you know, as as great as it all sounds, yeah. uh, everything that's coming out of your mouth, Gucci, is, 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 is romantic and, and all of that. You tr- you and I are truly truly different, and and I'll tell you why. And you're different from the great majority of guys. I I, I believe that I'm in the majority of guys. And what what is that? It's you say you have less sex when you're in a relationship. Guys like us, no way, man. We have way more sex in a relationship. You know why? We're not lookers. We're not fucking gems that we walk around and girls are like, oh, I want to fuck that guy or that guy's kind of hot or that guy is really talented. It's not, it doesn't work that way for the great majority of men. So it is in the relationship where we finally can experience what a regular sex life is because we don't have enough going for ourselves that outside of a relationship, we're going to be able to take, it's, it's, it's slim pickings. You know what I mean? For us, it's not like I can grab that girl or grab that girl, like a Mark Nelson or, or in really? fact, you. Really? Yeah, we can't but get I, our numbers up to fucking I do near agree 100. With with the, I'm, I'm you, not saying that I've had sex with other girls, but I'm saying when you're single and you're looking for that connection, then you yeah. have more free sex frequently. It's so kind of yeah. like saying. No, um, man. Like, dude, it, let's take. What? Okay. You, okay, let's take the other guy okay. in the room. Pico, get your ass over here. <laughs> Quickly. Check. No. Yeah. Pico, you've heard all of this stuff. Mm-hmm. Where are you? I mean, isn't it so incredibly difficult for a normal guy? And I'm putting myself in the normal guy mm-hmm. category because I, you know, I mean, I was, there was a point where I was a celebrity. And when I, well, when I wasn't a celebrity, and that makes me normal guy in the sense of I'm not a handsome man, I'm not a tall, athletic, talented singer, I'm just Mo with a mouth. There's no way in hell that we can score as often as we want to score. Yep. I agree. And there's no way in hell we can score more yeah. outside of a relationship. Yep. But don't you think it's a different world nowadays? I think girls are more no, into man. intellect and things like that. It's, there's so many. Oh ways. yeah, no, definitely. You're a smart guy, Mo, and I, a lot of a lot of girls dig that. And I would I, would, I can name so many girls. I super that, that agree dig with that. that. Yeah. Right. But you have to understand. Okay, listen. I know that in- intelligence. Sorry to fucking you know. And there's so many dumb jokes. Toot my out own there. horn here. Right. Right. But I, it doesn't. It doesn't. Intelligence doesn't resonate on a ni- on a one night basis. Like if it, I looked like you, if I looked like okay, Mark, the, I can walk inside what? a fucking it thing. It can. I, no. I've seen it happen so many times. You have? Yeah. yeah you, you, they go. They go to a bar. They end up talking to some girl, and they just have this intellectual conversation where this girl ends up wanting to sleep with this guy. Okay, that, I can agree on, with the. To, I, I, I can agree yeah, with I the. You it, meet I someone and then he's at, like super funny, and then he's very unassuming, non-threatening, and then mm-hmm, suddenly exactly. you become he's you the, have this connect, and then boom, the pants are off because exactly. he wasn't trying to come on to you like he wants to sleep with you. He was he wasn't trying. To, that was his style. He the not right, coming but, on to you. Yeah. He is still not as successful as the guy. Okay, really. Okay, how about this? If I'm um. Fucking uh, Brazilian uh, model, Japanese Brazilian model. Let's just say like a, a Matsunaga ish or whatever the fuck. Okay. And I walk in, <laughs> <It's> right? Because <laughs> he's so good looking. Motherfucker. Yeah. He's so good looking. Let's put him Fabio Ide, whatever, whoever the fuck. Yeah. And they walk in there. Guess I'm what? Sorry. They don't even speak English and they're taking home hot chicks. <laughs> how, do I, how do I even know you're intelligent? I don't know, but I do see your six pack and that's good enough for me. You know how much work a guy like me has to put in to even. Get that girl to even look my way. It, 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 you get what I mean? It's infinitely more easy for a guy like you, a guy like these guys who are better looking. It's like being to better looking to say half a the statement. Battle. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. To say the statement that I have more sex outside of a relationship than I do inside, I'm like, oh, what? I'm like, what the fuck did you just say? Because but there's I no way agree in hell that's him, true I for a guy like me. I can see the logic in that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I didn't say what he said was accurate, but I'm talking about it's all genetics, man. You are genetically superior over most guys, I'm, including myself. I'm trying to find and a that picture makes of college. you. No, and that makes you an, an easier guy I'm going to fuck if I was a girl. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm just having more sex because I look this way now. I mean, maybe maybe that's true in some sense. But uh, I think I was having a lot of sex when I was in college too, and I didn't look anything like this. I was the biggest nerd, weighed 200 pounds, had glasses on. Had a, you were 200 pounds. Yeah, I'm trying to look for the picture right now, just because I, I want to prove a point that I had more sex then, and I was single then. Really? Yeah. 
So what do you think it was? <sighs> I don't know. I was, I was a smart guy, I think. I think that... Uh, were, you, were you a funny guy? I know I wasn't funny at all. You're a very charming guy, <laughs> though. By the way, was your voice like well. this already as well? I was. I was still singing then. I was still in bands and all that growing up. Uh, but I was. I just studied a lot, and and I and I had really good conversations with girls. And then when it just the, you're the intellectual guy. When we had that conversation, that connection, I wanted to see if we had a sexual connection, and it just ended up happening. Now, was this in the Philippines or was this in the U.S.? There you go. I'm gonna. There you go. You have a good point there. That was in the United States. That's a very good point. And you also have to understand who were the girls you were around with because there are some yeah, girls... Were they, were they hood rats or were they actually quality women? Because if they're fucking women? idiots, they're not going to get the whole intellectual crap. No, we had the intellectual connection. Well, so it was trying to Exactly, find, yeah. because there are just some girls like... Again, like I said, it's in the environment you're in. Yeah, unless they believed all my bullshit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because yeah, yeah, there's some college it, life. I think yeah. college life in the mm. Western cultures, yes. you're going you're gonna to fuck. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're, it's just, it's just going to be there. For yeah. us... We weren't as lucky. Screw you, Guji. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the calls here. Sorry, we got a bunch of calls we got to get to. Okay. Um, uh, by the way, rarely do we have this where we, we. How many calls have we taken today? Two. It's already halfway through the show. Fuck. Sorry. We try to get us way more than this, but let's 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 try to catch up here. Um, King, you are 17 years old in Bulacan. What's going on, King? What? <laughs> <laughs> King, you're on the show. So, you know what? Listen, as, as much as I'm yelling at these guys, I do apologize. I really think it's our fault. I think it's Pico's fault here. So, um, excuse me if, if I'm rude to you. But Pico King, hurry up. What do you have? Pico said it's not his fault. It's not his it's fault. It's his fault. I know. You know why? Because there's no way it's a 100% success rate that all of us, all of them cannot hear us. They that, had that too much chocolate fault. cake. It was so damn good that everything is a blur. Uh, I'll, I'll blame a caller for shitty connection the first time, okay. but not every time. Then it becomes our problem. Right, Pico? And I'm never wrong about this. So shut up. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> King. <Sorry>. King. <laughs> Pico, can you fix Dude, this? Dude, yeah. Yeah. All right, you're in Baguio. Oh, no, sorry, you're not in Baguio. You're in, um, where are you? Bulacan. Sorry, my fault. King, what's up? In March. I'm going to say, yeah. Okay. What's your question? Um, in English. Yes, or Tagalog, either or. Ah, uh, gusto ko lang kasi malaman kung ano, kung paano maging matibay. Kasi ako ah, uh, as a gay, di ba? Nagkagusto sa girl, sa best friend ko pa, since, since best friend ko siya simula nung pagkabata namin. Gusto ko lang malaman na, anong, anong kailangan kong gawin kung, kung lalayaan ko siya, or, or pagkapatuloy ko lang, or, uh, okay, sorry. I, uh, I, I'm assuming his question is, he's a gay guy. Uh-huh. He's in love with his girl best friend and what is only starting to realize it now because when guys are hating on her, he gets he gets a little jealous. jealous and, and because of that, he's going to go with, I, I'm in love with her. Maybe he's just over. Or is that just No, but he selfish? was asking, he's asking for advice how to be matatag, meaning how to be strong. So... Yeah. I guess meaning how to control your feelings for being straight? Well, no, 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 no. I, I think no, what it is is... I think, so, sorry, go ahead. Let, let, me, let me explain it one more time. King, explain it one more time. I just want to say that it's right to be strong. Because, right? As a gay, I don't want to say how to be straight. Parang sa 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 position ko na pagiging gay kapanin kano kailangan ko ng gawin para 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 yung feelings na nawala or or gawing or magpapakalalaki ba ako para sa kanya ano ba yung Parang feelings ano? ba yeah, he's in love with his best friend his best friend's a girl and he thinks I think he thinks he's in love with her because he gets jealous when guys hit on her. Okay. So exactly he that. He's saying, with. how is he, he's trying to advi- get advice on how to be strong and not succumbing well, to his feelings if, for the girl. If he's really gay, he's not going to be celos. He's, yeah. That's he, exactly what it is, dude. You're, you're right. And I think that celos is pure celos, like true celos and not mixed in with feelings of romance oh. and, and, and love. Yeah. It's, it's celos like when like I a see friend? a guy drive a really nice car, I'm like, fuck that asshole. That, that could you know, be one of them. That's or, or like a friend. Envy. Like, yeah. Like a friend, like, uh, wow, my, my time is going to be taken away. 
from this person. Could be. Right. And you then he's that? confusing that with yeah. feelings. Okay, let me in ask being you. In love. Um, when you when you talk about these feelings for this girl, so sinabi mo nagsaselos ka, de ba? Other than these feelings of selos, what else have you felt for your best friend? Like, have you actually imagined or thought of her in a sexual way, other than just you know saying you like her? Ah, uh, <laughs> What an interesting barcode. Mga torrid kissing. Gusto yeah. ko yun. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So, he's making selos because she also ended up having a fling with one of their friends okay. who was also gay. Okay. So, you were you nagsaselos kasi bading siya or nagsaselos ka kasi pumatol yung girl. Pumatol yung girl. Bading din yung pumatol. Bading din yung pinatulong niya. Hindi naman ako makapagsari, hindi naman ako makapagbigay ng expression dahil syempre best friend lang ako dahil wala naman siyang alam sa nararamdaman ko. Alam mo, walang sexual anything here. I think it's just all people taking away time. It's like that's my friend, that's your friend, that's my friend and I just want to kiss them. Let them kiss. They're freaking girls anyway. So I don't think yeah. it has any sexual at all. I I agree. I I don't think you're you're attracted to her in that way where you have to go like what you asked was an option. Should I just become a guy so I can? No, of course yeah. not. That's, that's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, that's stupid, uh, King. You're just you're your children, and one kid took your toy, and you're pissed. Mm, <laughs> that's all that it is. They took your cake. And uh, at 17 years old, they you have to know it's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, it's going to happen. Several times in your life yeah. where someone's going to take your toy. Yeah. yeah. You just have to deal with it. Okay? You can make out with your yeah. friend if you want as well. Yeah, do it too. Get so, back. Yeah, you want to pee on her to show your property or whatever, <laughs> yeah. but you have to understand that, you know, this is part of life. Yeah. You know, your best friend will hang out. And, and that goes for not even a, in a sexual co- or make out toward kissing conversation, in regular stuff. Mm-hmm. When you have a best friend, guess what? It doesn't mean that that person is kind of supposed to be attached to you in a way that they can't have other best friends and other yes. really good friends. And but there comes a point say- in our life, I think, I think all of us go through it once where when we have a really close best friend that we spend every day with and that person all of a sudden starts hanging out with someone else. We start, we start to feel threatened, you know? I think that's normal when you're a teenager. That shit happens. And maybe that's what it is here. It's just, there's Probably. some toward kissing involved. I guess it, you know, it just took a turn when her, his best friend also made out with another gay person. So, para yeah. nakaka confused, di ba? A little. But, um, but I, I ultimately think it's just a, yeah, it's just a friendship thing. So, I don't think you need to pop your cock out <laughs> just to uh, prove a point. Yeah. Yeah. Unless you you want just to. have to realize, yeah, yeah that, th- that these things happen. Okay? King, it's part of life, buddy. Yeah. Hang in there. Thanks for the call. Appreciate it. Bye-bye. Uh, let's take a break. When we come back, 27-year-old Jay really from Baguio. Yeah. Yeah, I have. Yes. Okay, never had that. <laughs> Uh, 27-year-old Jay from Baguio, when we come back, he is a teacher who dates 15-year-olds. Awesome. At school. Talk to that motherfucker. Awesome to talk to this person. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> totally. okay. He's in Baguio where the weather's beautiful. Take a break. Back after this with him. Don't go away. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. We're always on the move. It's really important for us to get better and stronger for every competition that we get into. For all the different lifestyles that we have, some of us are graphic artists, filmmakers. We still find ways to get together. We put a lot of effort in practicing and rehearsing. Means I may mga bigla ang shows or auditions, so it's really important for us to get connected. I use my Globe group messaging to get a hold of everybody else. Malayo na rin ang narating namin, marami na rin kami napuntahan. So it's really important to get connected. Thing 
for the scary and sweet is at SM Super Malls. The SM Three Day Sale happens on October 18, 19, and 20 at SM City Bicutan. SM Three Day Sale. Up to 70% percent off on great finds. Shop and get a chance to win Suzuki motorcycles. SM Three Day Sale. The SM Three Day Sale on October 18, 19, and 20 at SM City Bicutan. See posters or print ads for details. Per DTI NCR permit number 6125, series of 2013. Hi. They say nothing in this world is free. And for the most part, that's true. But here at NMF Network, all shows are indeed 100% free. And as an added feature, you have the option to subscribe to all your favorite programs, also at no charge. Why should you subscribe? By subscribing, you no longer have the hassle of delays when you stream the program. You also don't need to keep checking our site to see if your favorite programs are up because they'll automatically be uploaded to your device as soon as it's available. Here's how to do it. First, open iTunes. Your next step, hit the iTunes Store button. A search bar should open up as soon as you do that. Type New Media Factory in the search bar and all your shows should open. Pick the show you like, or all the shows you like, and once that opens, hit the subscribe button, and that's it. You're in. All shows will now be automatically downloaded to your device. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the with the game Chubby Bunny, but um, Ch what's wait? Have you ever played Chubby Bunny before? No. You put a marshmallow in your mouth. You say Chubby Bunny. And you keep putting it in your mouth. And you okay. Keep saying chubby bunny. Okay. Whoever can get the most in their mouth wins. But we're not gonna say chubby bunny. We're gonna say we're gonna have a conversation. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So I'm gonna ask you, okay, gonna va? Okay. And you're gonna be like, okay, na, okay, na. Okay. 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 Yeah. Go. Two at a time. All right. We're gonna do this time. Okay, gonna va? What? Okay, na, okay, na. <laughs> Friend says she hates me. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. Back on the program, it is Good Times with Mo, the podcast, season two, brought to you by Globe on this Wednesday night. I'm enjoying tonight's episode. Thank you very much to our two wonderful people co-hosting with me tonight. Bianca Valerio, follow her on Twitter at Bianca underscore Valerio, and of course uh, Gucci Lorenzana. Gucci, your Twitter is same, just yep. Gucci Lorenzana. Gucci Lorenzana. Fantastic. All right, good stuff. Thanks for being here, man. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Oh, I'm having a great time. Thanks, Mo. Cool. I love and his you. voice. Thank you. I know, man. You should be a radio <laughs> DJ. Or did you? Sexy. You did radio, yeah? Yeah, I did for another station uh, mm -hmm. back in uh, a few years back. So uh, now, okay, hold on one second. Radio, yes, hardest thing ever. It's uh, it's it's difficult, but I love it. Uh, it could be difficult. I'm not saying it's the hardest thing, but it could it, there, it has its times. But um, it, it's the best place to be yourself, I think. And, yeah. Uh, I, I I love being able to just talk freely, and I love music, so it's it's an amazing place to be. What made it difficult? Um, being on board. Sometimes you just forget that you're on board. <laughs> that, that's pretty much it. I think it's difficult. Like, like oh, I always find it to be incredibly difficult when you do a talk show. Like, at least a talk show, because when you're when you're doing music, then you can always fill in moments where you don't really yes. have a solid topic for the yes. day. You can throw in uh, songs, but we don't play music on our show in yeah. the morning, and yeah. it is incredibly difficult to come up with three hours of. Commentary and, and and fucking funny topics and interesting kind of interactive yeah. uh, things that will that will make people who are driving entertained. I, I mean, think, uh, for yeah. three hours. Oh, man, my my problem was nightmare. I talked too much and then I, I just didn't play music. So. Oh no! <laughs> yeah. I mean, you belong uh. on our station. Yeah, but yeah, it, it's thing. It, it's 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 incredibly difficult. I, I I think when you're on television, I mean, I, I've done live live television and it's 
it's fucking nothing compared to doing yeah, radio. Yeah, yeah, I, I love so I love radio difficult. way more than I, I do sometimes doing TV. Yeah, so yeah, it's it's a lot more difficult. I miss it all so right. Anyway, yeah, you opening. should get back into it. I think I think you have a great speaking voice, Thank and, you. And, and you know you're smart and all that good stuff. Yeah, totally. Um, let's get to this guy on the phone. His name is Jay. He's 27. He's in Baguio. He's a teacher, and he likes dating early teenagers, not 19 year olds. 15 year olds jay get on the show what's up good evening. Yeah, hi there guys hi there buddy you're a teacher high school <laughs> um no no no. like uh, i teach uh vocational class okay all right but it, it, yeah, like, like, like how old are your students i'm sorry how old are your students ah he's trying to chop you though i'm not yeah, uh, that, sorry. i don't get no, any questions this is our yeah, this is Pico's fault. Uh, bear with me here. How old are your okay. students? Um, like uh, 20, 20s, like late 20s, early 20s. Okay, so the girls that you're dating are not your students, the 15-year-olds and stuff like that. Okay, um, here's the thing. Uh, I have two jobs now. Like at night, I'm, I work as a trainer in a call center business, and in the morning, I'm a teacher. So uh, with, with the class I have every morning, anybody can join, like 16 years old and above. And what's happening there is, I don't know, I don't know what's problem because uh, what's happening, like every every student that I have, I'll make sure that in some class I, I do date, you know. And pag sa gabi naman, sa mga ahente, uh, like, I don't know. Uh, I make sure na I go out with someone else as well. And the problem there is, I have a daughter, but I'm not yet married though. But we're, we're in good terms, it's just that I'm here. <laughs> And uh, my 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 daughter is in the uh, I'm on the northern part of Philippines. Nandito sila sa bandang Bisayas kaya. Sure. So, so well, what's your problem? Your sure. problem is you you think you, there's something wrong with you because you date 15 year olds or, or what's the issue? Like I, I mean like if, if I talk to them, they share things about their life. Like you know I'm um, having problems with financial thing. You know I make sure that I help them out and, until uh, relationships being being built up. And stuff like that. So, so you have a savior complex. What's that? So you always uh, it's savior when they're eighteen. It's a sexual predator when they're less than that. Well, <laughs> I think he's yeah. just horny. Yeah. I mean, no, but are you having sex with these fifteen year olds? Yeah. That's a question. Yeah, man. Oh, oh I mean, fuck, that's that is not that's, saving that's Jesus Christ. Problem, that is man. Yeah. yeah. And how many times have you done this, buddy? Since I started teaching. Like almost so, three years now. And how young has it been? Like, well, give me the youngest girl you've had sex with. Fifteen. 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 You sure? But, but they're uh, not like really kids, you know. You, you body structure in the med room. Oh, of course. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Listen, buddy. Yeah, I get yeah, you, buddy. Yeah. It's like if you're trying to imagine like a teen, but I'm not really though. Not really, though. Yeah, no. When you see their body, they look like they're seventeen, man. Okay, Come wait. On, I just need to ask you a question. Um, you, okay, you said you have. A, you said you have a daughter. I'm sorry. I'm. You said that you want help. You're trying to understand. So, in saying that, we're trying to understand you too. So, my question is, do you not? Does it not ever cross your mind that some guy could be doing this to your daughter too? Like, yeah, but, but Bianca, that yeah, that, that's your, it, that, it, it came to my mind. Those, those no, kind but of that's questions, perfect though, like, world. Maybe. No, I'm just asking. Like, he's answering no, but, us now. Like, what he thought about it. He said it crossed. Right, okay, his let's mind. take let's let's watch the news and let's take all the sexual predators that you've come across on the news in the past year. Just let him How many answer of these people first. are married? And no, because it's okay. I will let him answer, but it's not going to be an effective. I know. I'm just curious route to get well, what the I'm, fuck I'm is going curious. on here. I'm I'm trying to figure out like okay, okay, what is right. going through his head. <laughs> right, but but <laughs> then but, but hold on. No time out. Uh, here's what I want to do. It, it, it's because when you ask a question like that, and I'm not taking anything from your question. We all think about it. We all go, but wait a minute, you have a daughter. Yeah, but people who, who people who kill people have families. Yeah. People who molest other people have children of their own. It is not something that is related to his relationship with his daughter. It is only related to himself. To himself. It's it, regardless of what, regardless if he's got six daughters and they're all teenagers, he didn't, if he doesn't lay a finger on them, it doesn't make him any normal because he's still doing it on other people. Okay, and it has you, you to have do with a point that. there, but he was going to answer his question. I'm just so curious, coming from as a father, like, what does he think of it? Anyway, could you go? 
could you please answer the question? I just wanted to know. Well, of course, yeah, it came to my mind when may anak ako and then I'm doing this kind of stuff. So parang nakakontensya din in a part. But being a guy, you cannot really, you know, think about that if, if you're really on in, in this situation. Yeah, but Jay, you can't also use being a guy as some sort of like fucking excuse. Yeah. 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 That's what, I'm, that's okay. what I want to know. Well, yeah, we're talking about it. We talked about this yesterday. You're projecting like, oh, okay, but it's just because I'm a guy. That's what makes a thing. And man, when you look at their bodies, Mo, it's not like they're 15. I mean, God, you know, if you weren't, if you didn't carry yourself well as you are right now, I would really want to try my best to kill you via the the radio or whatever we're doing right now. It's you carry yourself here as a charming guy, so it, it's making us be charming to how, you as yeah. well. Yes, I, I can but see if you called the show the and you said, if you, yeah, if you called the show and you went and sounded like this, you said, "Mo, I have a problem." We would fucking kill you you, as much as we could verbally. But you're charming, man, and it makes us be charming to you as well. It doesn't take away the fact fact that that what you're doing is is criminal. It's fucking... It's it's, it's life-shattering, man. It's like, dude, you're... You gotta take responsibility, man. I mean... Yeah, these people, they don't... you're, You're a teacher for one thing. Uh, regardless of the fact that you, you're, a, you're a trainer in another job, you're a teacher. So uh, parents are actually entrusting that their kids be taught by you. And when I say kids, they're under 18, so they are still kids. So you have to take responsibility that you're, 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 put, you're put in a position of responsibility. Um, uh-huh. you know, so if you have a problem, you need to look at yourself, buddy, and you need to, you need to see that uh, you know, if, if you're religious, God puts you in this position to, to be a teacher to somebody, then you, you know you have to take responsibility for your actions. And yeah, if you that, don't that, think you can that, actually exactly do it, it then you shouldn't even be in this job because you are yeah, you a know, that, 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 That's what it is, I think, it, when it comes down to, uh, Jay, is your job puts you in a position where you're looked up to. And it, it's a powerful thing to, to be able to control an audience. And in that control, there are going to be people who are not as developed or is mature that's going to be attracted to that that, that that figure yeah and you can't exploit that man because yes. it, it, it's it's like a priest the priest is the, this 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 guy you know people look up to him the all the, all the everyone in the congregation thinks he's awesome and then he's going to use that and his to and his religious knowledge yes. to to molest little kids man and all of a sudden this guy fuck man you want to kill this motherfucker yeah so yeah. So uh, my point, Jay, is you have a responsibility to society, to your students, that you're looked up upon. And if you're going to okay. use that um, well, to fucking I'm gonna, in get defense, in the girl's pants. In defense, of, in defense for him, okay? I'm, I'm not going to say that he's, he's right or wrong about this. But I want to ask him, him a question as well. Did you ever end up getting with a girl that you did not know was 15 because they looked like they were 18? Oh, uh, no. No, so you knew you knew already. You knew yeah, uh, exactly he, he, how okay. they were. He went then, into their lives. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're, I already you're, know that. You know. Then you're a bastard. <laughs> 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 yeah, in, in in college days, yeah. Yeah. Okay, Jay. Jay, here's here's the thing. Here's the oh God. It hurts uh, I don't even want to get. I don't want to get. I really don't know. I really don't know if it's just because of the you know the sexual desire or is it that um I don't know. No, no I, I really do believe there's an issue with you that you need to get fixed. Yes, yes. You, um, you are addicted to there, something. It's a sickness. You yeah. have a sickness. You do. Because there's supposed to be a line that doesn't you don't cross, and you're not seeing that line. The line of decency, the line of trust, the line of you there's know, even ethics a bit of morals. narcissistic tendencies yes. there because I mean it's not a defensive laugh. It's a laugh of... No, no, no. The, don't worry about the laugh. No, the laugh I, is I part that. of his yeah. training. I noticed that. No, no, I no. no. That. I, I, I'm not going to think about the laugh here. The guy is a trainer for a call center. That means he's well-versed in being uh, aggressively questioned over the phone. I mean, he, he's, he's, he goes through this on a daily basis. So I'm not going to put anything on the laugh. That comfortable feeling he has, that's because he's battle-tested. When you're in a call center and you get fucking throttled by those customers who fucking hate your product, yes. you can eventually... 
have some sort of force field and nothing we say is going to offend him because he's trained. So let's not put too much about the laugh. Oh, fuck, I forgot what I was saying. What I want you to do is you have a responsibility to society because of what you do. You have, there's a line, I think, of decency and morality and, and, and legality that you don't seem to see that other people see. And I want you to be able to see that. Like, you, I think you should definitely go see, uh, a counselor, wow. get some professional help so we can kind of get that line a lot more visible for you. You yeah. cannot do what you're doing. You can fuck yes. these 15 year olds in five years. Fuck all you want in five years. But there is a clear line that you cannot cross that you have been crossing. How old and is I he? need you to, to be, he's How 27. Old is he? 27. Yeah, 27. but, and, and I just, I, I would like to believe like, giving you the benefit of the doubt, the fact that you're calling us right now and you're genuinely, Seeking I would help. like to think you're genuinely asking for help, right? Yeah. That you're not inadvertently, no, yeah, I am, I yeah, am, that I you're am. not inadvertently trying to boast of your conquests who are 15 year olds. But I'm just trying to say the fact that you are saying you're asking for help, it means that you are really making a proactive move in doing that. That after this call, you are actually going to do something about it. And you, okay. and, uh, I tried. Like, Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Um, go ahead. I, I know. Like, I tried. You know, stepping up, like saying, "Ah, uh, kailangan wag masadong ganto because you know uh, I need to do um, ang kabutian sa sarili mo or whatever to do other people because that." I don't know. Like every time there's a new class, every time there's new people. First, as a trainer, everybody would like, "Hey, I'm either gusto ng gusto ka." Like, I wanna, I wanna, you know, uh, build a wall between between us. But every time new class, new people. New faces, boom. Yeah, and and that's why that's again you what you're ex, what I you're explaining like right now boom. is the problem that every addict has with whatever their thing is. If if I'm an that's alcoholic, what you feed and I, on. that's what right. If I'm an alcoholic on. and all of a sudden I'm like, I know it's bad for me. I know I'm losing my family. You're gonna yeah. do it. I mean, it's with every addiction, whether it be gambling, sex, yeah. you know, fucking alcohol. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I Drugs. Think there's an addiction so, there. It's an ego feed. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So the the way to go here, and and I'm glad that you're at least. As Bianca said, reaching out, acknowledging it. You just need some professional help, man, and and, and make that appointment and, and talk to a, a counselor. And and you know, obviously, there's a legal aspect here. You've broken the law, yes. and and I don't want to. I don't even want to touch under that because we have, as broadcasters, in a quote unquote, have an obligation to say, turn yourself in. But if it means if you're not going to do that, which I don't think you're going to do that, because who wants to go to jail? I think what what I'm what I want to do is I want to be able to. Get you to stop doing this, A, and B, we're going to save your life right now because I have a 14-year-old daughter, and if I found out that you have interacted with her, I will take your human life and I will throw it off of a very tall building. So I'm saving your life, and there are a lot of guys out there that are like me that will not hesitate to take your ass out, and I'll go straight to lunch right after that like it's nothing. I have no shame in killing you. So... If you fight someone like me, and I found out that you'd fucking do that to my daughter, you're a dead human being. So two things. Number one, let's stop you from uh, doing this any further. And B, to keep you alive, you have to stop what you're doing. Yeah, because one day, maybe now you didn't get caught. But balang araw may may haharapin ka na katapat. Yeah, whether you get caught by the police or you get caught by me, Someone, by a father who just wants to kill I'm you, I'm gonna kill you. Will stand yeah. up to you and has will do anything to stop you. You don't want that day to come. So and you don't even, know how much it affects me. Like I might kill your daughter too, <laughs> just because I'm so mad. I'll, yeah. you, I've, oh, I heard this guy on the podcast, the one from Baguio. Fuck, he's got a family in Visayas. I'm going after her as well. Because you know, I want you to feel my pain. Because the thing is, you also are a teacher, right? And yes. you're supposed to be you're supposed to be inspiring. You're supposed to be thinking on behalf of like people that you're trying to influence. It is such mm -hmm. a hypocritical thing to do that what you're doing right now. It's it's just it's very upsetting because I have a daughter as well and Anyway, anyway. You're yeah. just, and you'd kill him too. <laughs> so yeah. it, it, it is what it is, dude. Brother, I, I think. Sorry, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, no I'm just gonna you, tell him, no. brother. You just, you're just sick, man. And and I'm not saying sick like you're like you know. Gross. You're gross, but you're. There's something wrong. There's there. something wrong that you have to take care of, and whether whether it's it's for your own good. You have to. I'm glad you're acknowledging it. The fact that uh, there's something wrong, and you might be a really good person deep down inside. I mean, I don't doubt that, but. 
try and get some help, man. Because it's yeah, you just that's all you need. Because yeah, because yeah, yeah, sometimes totally, I'm totally. thinking, you know, there's a pattern to your behavior. Yes, you definitely. say that. Um, it happens every time there's a new batch, so to speak. So that means you feed on new experiences. Yes. It's a thrill, mm-hmm. and you know that it's illegal. So that for you, the 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 thought of getting caught but not getting caught that excites you too. So there's I, something I'm not very sure disturbing in that. Yeah, I'm just I, I'm saying. I'm not sure it if that's be, true in right? terms of the thrill. I I I think what it is is this. It, 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 in its basic form, it's this. How many times, Gucci, have you looked at a super hot chick and we find out she's young? And you say you go, man, that fucking girl is fucking hot, man. And dude, she's seventeen. Oh fuck. Yep, many times. All right, but hey, okay, listen, man. Okay. Her, when's her birthday? When's her birthday? Yeah. Oh, it, it's next month. Yeah, yeah. All of a sudden, what has changed in our attraction? Nothing. We're Nothing. still attracted to her. Nothing at all. We just can't publicly say that I want to bang that girl. But hey, guess what? Her birthday's in November. Oh fuck, it's so on in November. <laughs> fucking fuck this girl. You know. So it, I I don't think it's. There's that issue there that when you're attracted to these girls, that it makes you automatically sick. It's pursuing it. It's yes. doing yeah, something. Yeah, it's about acting. It. So, it's you're when acting I on fuck it. that 17 year old who's super hot before November, I've crossed that line, the line yes. that I wanted you to see. Yes. That line exists to remind me that there is a November. And it's three weeks away. And to keep your dick in your pants until that day comes when Bianca turns 18 and I can have some of that ass. But in the meantime, that line tells me, don't cross it. You are crossing it. And that's what we need to get. Mm-hmm. It's nothing. Okay, you want to be attracted to a 16-year-old, 17-year-old who's super hot? I completely understand yeah. because sometimes we come across a Kate Upton. And I found out Kate Upton. When I first saw Kate Upton, I was like, wow, look at that piece. Look at the tits on her. Oh, she's 17. Fuck, are you serious? Fuck. But I still wanted to fuck her. <laughs> yeah. The difference so, is a lot of was, a regular human her. beings is they don't right. actually act on it, and him, he does. You're acting. That's the line that we're talking about, at yeah. least I, I'm referring to. Yeah. And trust me, the moment Kate Upton turned 18, which I knew she did, then I started having a Kate Upton folder on my desktop. But until <laughs> she was not 18, I wasn't collecting her photos. She turned 18. Good I've got all her you, videos Mo. now. Yeah, I'm just saying. Good for you. That's how it is. She was in Baraka when she was 18, and she was fucking sexing it up. And, and brother, I was like, hell yeah, I'm carrying that. You know what? Uh, you're in a position of power, so don't abuse that. Because I, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that uh, it's an ego thing, too. You're power tripping, too, as well. It is. It is. It's an ego feed. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, that attention that you get for, for being a teacher, use that to some positivity, man. Don't, don't, yeah. don't use that just so that you can get chicks and get laid and be with all these people. Don't do that. Because if not, okay. that means you're not suited for that job. Yeah, you can never be an artista. I you, can only imagine what you, you would Yeah, you, you don't deserve to or be a in politician? a job like that. Oh, my God. Actually, yeah. celebrity, I'm sorry, but in a Thanks way, it's like... Thanks for the call, like, by the way. We'll go to the next one. It, with a celebrity, ahead, it's kind of like, yeah, they're, they're entertainers. Still, they, they can be role models, but more of politicians... People in the church, people in in yeah, in education like teachers. Those are the ones that people will really. Ugh. Well, but you have so to understand they have mad. their own kind of gravity. Yeah. That's why they, they they've got a gravity to them. People who are or are um, attracted to the political life, the leadership life, the the alpha life. They yeah. also have their own sense of kind of gravitational pull that a lot of people like them and look up to them. And because of that, it puts them in a position where they can go ahead and. Do things like this, yeah. and you know that's what that's what that's what Gucci was saying. There's a responsibility there. You if you want to be in this field, you have to act accordingly. Yeah, you're the type of guy who always you, wants if, a VIP table. Yeah, yeah. that's that, that's the, the type of if guy you, you want. want. That, listen, yeah, you can't have it all, buddy. You can't be a power position and then fucking start exploiting little teenagers. Trust me, it doesn't work that way. Yeah, um, some people they don't want that position of power because they want to use it in a good way. It's just specifically specifically for themselves to the ego feed. That's yeah. right. All right. Anyway, um, let's go to oh, someone's crying on the phone. Love these calls. Uh, Edu is a guy. Twenty-six-year-old Edu. Yes, boy. Hi. Are you Edu. crying? Oh. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Hi, Edu of Pampanga. Who's yes. in tears? How can we help you? What's wrong? Uh, See Pampanga po. Ano Pampanga. Yeah, Pampanga. Okay. Ano problema? Then, it's not po ba tayo ngayon? Yes. Um, no. Uh, <laughs> we say yes. Okay. He's not going to say yes. Uh, yeah. 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 Well, what's the problem? 
problema ko po kasi sa na hindi ko po alam yung meeting na nararamdaman ko ngayon. Kasi po, uh, may kagilala po ako dati na para ka workmate ko. Ngayon po, hindi alanganin ko na in, parang nagustuhan ko po siya. Almost two years na po kami ngayon. May asawa po siya at may anak. Alright. Ngayon po, And then? po ako. Nangirakan po ako kung tutuloy ko pa po ito o hindi po, hindi na. Kasi, I can't understand. All right, hold on. Somebody okay. needs to translate. I can barely hear him. It's not so the, I think it's, dialect um, problem. It's he's, just, he's feeling really bad saying. because there's someone that he's working, she's, he's working with, and I'm assuming something like he has feelings for her, but the thing is she's married with kids, and he's wondering if he should still continue because it's complicated. Yeah, is it right? But they like have that? been they have been seeing each other for two years. Is, is okay, what I heard. So right? I, so I didn't hear that. Naging, part. Okay. Yeah, naging kayo for two years. Uh, oh, guy. Okay, but either way, uh, okay, yeah, regardless, yeah, yeah. he's okay. still you, you still yeah yeah okay Save two years. Ah, uh, hindi, 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 hindi po ako totally na gano'n po siya. Pero, yung parang bandang huli po, naranggang mo po na gusto, na gusto siya. Pero may galagun po ako. Help me hindi here, I can hear. Hindi po ang errands ko na gano'n. Tapos, uh, bawat po, nagkasawad po ako, ano. Jesus. Edu? Edu, sandali lang ah. Po. Can you make your okay. mic, can you not talk so closely to your phone or to the mic kasi w- I think when you go further mas naintindihan kita mas naintindihan ka namin okay okay uh, hold on, hold on. Let's, just put, let's, let's put them on hold just because it's, it's such an awful audio yeah. thing and I don't want to I don't want to sit here and just fucking try to yeah. make it <laughs> make it better okay. let's just do this let's just take what we know of dating married people and how that equates to pain okay. and then just go ahead and say <laughs> That it, I don't care how many years or what province, boy, girl, or whatever. When you start getting into a into a situation where you're dating people who are married, okay, doesn't matter if it's a wife, doesn't matter if it's a husband, doesn't matter if it's gay or whatever. You, the chances of you sounding like this guy eventually are very high. Yes, that's it. That's the best advice we can give. Like ninety nine percent of the time, no matter what, you're never gonna win. Right. First wife, you first will sound husband like him. will still win. Even if they or, say or that even they're that, even fucking if it doesn't, you. Yeah, you know what I mean? No, it's, but even if first wife doesn't win. Let's just say it doesn't. Let's say okay. first wife even acknowledges that you're existing and stuff. What, what can you get out of it in the end? Yeah. We have no divorce in our country. Mm-hmm. What can you get out of it? A, a, a great future? Yeah. Uh, define nothing. what you want. And then in this case, pa, it's with a man who is married with kids. So I'm assuming the the wife doesn't even know that, that he's, he's gay. gay. Yeah. So that's, that's even right. more na hindi talaga right. mangyayari. Yeah, now we're even, yeah, your chances of being successful start to really dwindle yeah. when you think about the situation you're in. So bad idea all the time to get involved with someone married, awful idea all the time. Yes. And then depending on the certain circumstances like his, it then starts to ev- get worse and worse and worse. And you apparently have the shittiest of the group because yeah. your parents don't know you're gay, his wife doesn't know you're gay, plus he's married with kids. I mean, there can't be a more perfect storm of shit to be in than what I you're guess, in right now. I guess, but you can Andy. just hear like the distraught in his voice. And Yeah, I mean, for somebody like that, trying to call in and uh, asking for some help, it's because they, they just don't know where else to go. Yeah, and then he was even saying, are we live? Meaning, you know, he maybe he doesn't want anybody to know because he's that embarrassed. Yeah, but, but the fact he's that he's confused. calling. That you know. there's, there's, there's that desperation of yeah. I'm seeking out for help. Definitely. Yeah. And, yeah. and yeah, he's crying and stuff. I mean, at least that's what the, uh, the, 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 the staff said. He's, he's in tears. So listen, uh, Edu, um, there's nothing we can say, I think, that's going to make you feel better. Yes. Because whatever romantic shit we come up with and concoct here, when you hang up, you're still going to feel lonely and then what, in whatever situation you're in. I just think that, uh, and not, not to do the I told you so, but when you get involved in these, in these kind of chaotic situations, it's going to end up in a lot of hurt. I mean, shit, even normal situations where yeah. you fall in love and it's a great relationship and you yeah. break up ends up in hurt. I it's guess, just, I guess the only part of it. I guess the only, you know, at least to, to, 
part with something even just a little nice is to say that you know, it's all about mindset, all about perspective. I mean, right now, you're aware na ganito nga talaga yung sitwasyon, wala ka nang magagawa. So, rather than bury yourself in more pain na mas lalo pang lumala yung problema mo, mas lalo pang lumala yung heartbreak mo, walk away. As hard as that is, mm-hmm. at least it's one step to making things better. Yes. Try and be yeah, strong. The, the, the longer you're in the relationship, the more miserable you're going to be. The, 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 the sooner you do walk away, the sooner all of this yeah. starts to get fixed. I mean, easier said than done, but at least you'll, Definitely. the acknowledgement is already the first step. Yes. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. All right, buddy. Okay. Thanks, I do. Have a good one. Uh, let me do a quick uh, announcement here before we get to our next call. We'll uh, talk to Danica, who's 19, in just a second, Angie, if you don't mind. Um, and then do we still have time for the other one on line five? Uh, Let's see. We'll work it out. Let me get, let me do this uh, announcement, and then we'll take Danica if you can get her ready. Uh, calling all bikers. If you're looking for the ultimate adrenaline rush, we'll look no further than the Globe uh, Arakan XC2. It will be held in Davao City on uh, October 13th. That's this Sunday, by the way, everyone. Uh, it's a 60-kilometer loop ride that's a mix of uh, road and off-road trail. The Globe Arakan XC2 is more than just a bike challenge. It's also a fundraiser to save uh, the home of the Philippine Eagle in the Arakan Valley. All proceeds will go to the Philippine Eagle Foundation. Registration is free. Bring your friends and together you can do a globe of good. So please do check that out. All right. So do we have Danica on line six and then we're out of here? Is that, is that what we're working with? No. Everyone? No. No, we don't. No, we don't. Yeah. Oh, we don't. We lost her. Hers was what? In a relationship with boyfriend for five years. Oh, that means they started when they were 14. That's not cool. <laughs> um, are we going to do Tori? The 22-year-old in Quezon City on line five? Or we don't have her either. They, these people have been on hold forever. I just want to make sure that they're still there. Love the amount of professionalism going on on air. Here. <laughs> Sorry. No? Okay, never mind. Uh, let's take a break then because we have to take a break anyway. When we come back, how about we go through – well, if we don't get these – people who have been on hold back on. Why don't we go through some of the uh, Ask FM questions that we didn't get a chance to answer yesterday, Bianca? Yes? Okay. Sounds like a good plan. I like it. All right. And then we're going to wrap it up because we're about uh, a few minutes before this one ends anyway. Take a break. When we come back. You have to be back on the show. Yeah. I'd love to come back. Definitely. I love doing this. So, Oh. Love, doctor. Don't you love just hearing how these 15-year-olds get just... It's crazy how, like, there's so many young kids with, like, these problems, you know? I think it's sometimes, you know... uh, like this show in particular what I love about this show is I mean I love but it makes me sad at the same yeah, time yeah. This is sometimes you know you're going on with your life you're so busy and sometimes you're so happy or you're so sad that you're so caught up in your own little world your family's world your friend's world that you forget that there are people like this who call into the show that and you think fuck and I thought I had problems exactly or, you exactly. know it makes yeah. you grateful but at the same time it also like you said in the position of power I would like to think that we are in some position of being able to help and kahit papano like these people who are so desperate they don't know who to go to asking total strangers mm-hmm. taking that risk and you know it, it's nice to know that kahit papano we're, we can help sana diba? sana yes, yes, yeah. Yes. Yeah, it yeah. feels good but you know what's, 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 what's more important here yeah. is truly finding the best chocolate cake because I could care <laughs> less about these people's fucking lives if it doesn't mean finding a better cake than goddamn Polly's. That's all, all right? It, you people with your uh, crying and, and, and cake, your stupid fucking... Cake can definitely save the day, you know? It can! <laughs> it can! It can! That's right. Cupcakes and ice Right. I don't want to hear about your stupid, oh, help me, I'm great, I'm in love with my best friend. Well, have <laughs> some fucking cake, <laughs> man. Have some yeah, fucking cake. Yeah, there's a cake out there that's to be eaten. <laughs> Shit! Back after this, don't go away. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. We're always on the move. It's really important for us to get better and stronger for every competition that we get into. For all the different lifestyles that we have, some of us are graphic artists, filmmakers. We still find ways to get together. We put a lot of effort in practicing and rehearsing. Means I may mga bigla ang shows or auditions, so it's really important for us to get connected. I use my Globe group messaging to get a hold of everybody else. 
malayo na rin ang narating namin, marami na rin kaming napuntahan. So it's really important to get connected. for the scary and sweet is at SM Supermalls. The SM 3-Day Sale happens on October 18, 19, and 20 at SM City, Bikutan. SM 3-Day Sale! Up to 70% off on great finds. Shop and get a chance to win Suzuki motorcycles. SM 3-Day Sale! The SM 3-Day Sale on October 18, 19, and 20 at SM City, Bikutan. See posters or print ads for details. Per DTI NCR your permit number 6125, series of 2013. Hi. They say nothing in this world is free. And for the most part, that's true. But here at NMF Network, all shows are indeed 100% free. And as an added feature, you have the option to subscribe to all your favorite programs, also at no charge. Why should you subscribe? By subscribing, you no longer have the hassle of delays when you stream the program. You also don't need to keep checking our site to see if your favorite programs are up because they'll automatically be uploaded to your device as soon as it's available. Here's how to do it. For those people with Apple mobile devices, first you need to download the podcast app. Once you've downloaded the podcast app, open it and you should be taken to the featured page. Now, you look for the store button. Hit the store button and after doing that, hit the search button. Put your cursor on it and type New Media Factory. All our shows should automatically appear. Pick your favorite or favorites. Open it and hit subscribe. And that's it. You're done. Congratulations and welcome to the New Media Factory family. We're always on the move. It's really important for us to get better and stronger for every competition that we get into. For all the different lifestyles that we have, some of us are graphic artists, filmmakers. We still find ways to get together. We put a lot of effort in practicing and rehearsing. Sometimes may mga bigla ang shows or auditions, so it's really important for us to get connected. I use my Globe group messaging to get a hold of everybody else. Malayo na rin ang narating namin, marami na rin kaming napuntahan. So it's really important to get connected. for the scary and sweet is at SM Supermalls. The SM 3-Day Sale happens on October 18, 19, and 20 at SM City, Bikutan. SM 3-Day Sale! Up to 70% off on great finds. Shop and get a chance to win Suzuki motorcycles. SM 3-Day Sale! The SM 3-Day Sale on October 18, 19, and 20 at SM City, Bikutan. See posters or print ads for details. Per DTI NCR permit number 6125, series of 2013. Hi. They say nothing in this world is free. And for the most part, that's true. But here at NMF Network, all shows are indeed 100% free. And as an added feature, you have the option to subscribe to all your favorite programs, also at no charge. Why should you subscribe? By subscribing, you no longer have the hassle of delays when you stream the program. You also don't need to keep checking our site to see if your favorite programs are up because they'll automatically be uploaded to your device as soon as it's available. Here's how to do it. First, open iTunes. Your next step, hit the iTunes Store button. A search bar should open up as soon as you do that. Type New Media Factory in the search bar and all your shows should open. Pick the show you like, or all the shows you like, and once that opens, hit the subscribe button. And that's it. You're in. All shows will now be automatically downloaded to your device.
girlfriend says she hates me. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. Back on the program here. It is Wednesday night. Last chance for your calls. And we'll have a few minutes before we get out of here. So I want to uh, make sure we get at least some of the people who've been on hold for a really long time to get on air before we end tonight. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Season 2 brought to you by Globe on the show tonight. Gucci Lorenzana, hey, who's done going, an everybody? excellent job here Thank you. tonight, Thank you. Gucci. Now, Gucci, I, I, I know we, we're generally not the traditional showbiz show that says, hey, you want to promote your shows or whatever like that. But is there anything you want to throw out there for, yeah, for next, people listening? Uh, next, uh, next Wednesday, uh, She's the One is coming out under Star Cinema. I'm a big part of that, and I just want to promote that. Guys, everybody watch. Fantastic. Yeah. Who's in it? Ding Dong Dantes, uh, Bay Alonzo. I'm in it. My wife, it, that, uh, my the wife that plays my wife uh, there is uh, Mary Carreras and a whole bunch of other nice. people. Yeah. yeah, excellent. She's the one. Good stuff. All right, yep. so that's next week. Next week. Okay, Wednesday. and I know you're doing movies. I mean, aside from this movie, you're doing another movie, correct? Yep, yep, yeah. So that's gonna be coming out. Soon. Do you mind coming back? Maybe when that one's ready to go. Yeah, no, I, I want to come back almost every day. This is a lot of fun. Right? Is <laughs> yeah. it fun? Oh. Yeah. Well, listen. I think Bianca's uh, Bianca. You're you're going away for a little bit. Maybe you should sub in. On yeah. Yeah, yeah, let, let me know. Totally. Let me know. Let me know. Yeah, let me I'm know. gonna be away for a while. Yeah, yeah. let me know yeah, anytime. You're going to Europe, so yeah, we, we wouldn't mind. Hey, so what? You're a dude. It's okay. Yeah, so dude on dude action. Yeah. Never hurt anybody. He's got a cute <laughs> pussy. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Bianca. The funniest thing oh, you said man. on the history of the program. Congratulations. <laughs> that was awesome. solid. That was a great oh, visual. Oh, Bianca, look yeah. at you. I'm no, that was home. good. Yeah. Oh, and, and the delivery was there. And every, oh, that was solid stuff. I like that. <laughs> All right, uh, Ika, Ika, whatever. 20 years old, line six. And I, I, again, looking at the time, this looks like this is going to be the last call of the night. Okay. Sorry, guys. Uh, Ika? Ika? Hello. Hey, baby. Hello. How are you? Good. 20 years old, Valenzuela. What's up? What? Oh, God. <laughs> Pico, I'm telling you, this yeah. is your That's fault. Right. I'm telling you, this is your fault. All right. Ika, you're 20 years old. Mm-hmm. You're in Valenzuela. Yeah. And how can we help you tonight? What's going on? I, ha- I have this experience. Na- I'm going to go. Um... Na parang na friend zone ako, just like that. Ha. Ng boy? I met this guy. Okay. Uh-huh. I met this guy na um, that na na iya ka ko. It's okay. Oh, okay. It's okay, Time. baby. It's okay. It's okay. You know what? There's no friend zone. There's no such thing. Uh, if I may. Um, Ika. And especially if it's okay, if it's a if it's I'm a sorry, guy. Why, why is she calling? What, what was the issue? What's the problem? Well, we're gonna get to it a little okay. bit, but I'm letting her calm down. So then I'll. Uh, okay. There's no friend zone. Uh, if it's a guy who feels like he's been friend zoned, it's just the girl doesn't like you. And if it's a girl who feels like she's been friend zoned, here is the great catch to it all: something happened, and he just left you. Yeah. So if I was oh. Himala, right? So, Ika, if I were if I was a betting man and I was going to guess that your tears are related to you like a guy, you guys did something, maybe had sex, and then he just left you, and you thinking he friend zoned you. Uh, yes. Sex. Almost. You had sex I know with a... he, our relationship almost a year. Almost. Taon na okay. And but then, but there was no relationship. Just just parang MU. you were you having sex with the guy? Yeah, M U. Okay, all right. Okay, okay but I, I need to be clear about the sex part here because this plays so key in yeah. how long a guy stays in a relationship. That's M U. Were you having sex yeah. with boy? Pardon. Were you okay? Having were you sex? having sex with him? Sex. Yeah. Popo. Several. Several. Only okay. him. Only Pero okay. alam marami siyang marami siyang na nakakasama. Uh, marami siyang ibang girls. Ay girl. Okay. 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 So it's a fubu. Uh, so it's, it's a ano in accept ko kasi nga ito yung this relationship natin namin na ganto lang. Okay. Pero hindi niya hindi niya inaamin na meron siyang mga iba. Ay, mga iba. Mm-hmm. Dami. Nahuli ko na lang. So doon masakit na kahit alam niyo, kahit alam mo na hanggang diyan lang talaga kayo. The fact that he was still hiding that there are other girls, yun ang masakit for you. Tapos alam ko na yung argument niya. Yung... Then, dumating yung time, naging, naging kami naman. Okay. 
mga three months, ganun. Okay. Pero, ako din kasi nahipag-iwalay eh. Say time out. No, no, Para lang okay. to Figo. prove, to prove naman na ay worth, worth ko yung effort, pero hindi eh. Yeah. Ayun, right. nahihirapan tuloy ako na so, le- so let's get back to your... Sir, tinanggap ko lahat ng okay. consequence. Gotcha. So let's go back to le- para... okay. Let's go back to your first statement, friend zone. Okay. All of a sudden, it's not friend zone, right? I mean, you have a guy that you're sleeping with for what? Was it two years or one year? She said, two years, almost whatever. Two years. Almost two years that you're having sex with this guy regularly. Mm-hmm. There was no commitment until a certain part there where there was a three month commitment thing that didn't work out. Mm-hmm. And I mean, here's what happens when you have sex with someone, Ika or any girl out there. For longer than a few months, somebody's gonna fall in love with somebody. Yes. And if you don't, if you don't solidify what you have in the beginning, you're gonna end up sounding like this. Yes. Uh, you get what I mean? You have to know from the beginning: Are we a couple, or are we just gonna have sex? And when you establish what you want in the beginning, it will help minimize this. You can still fall in love when you're having sex. If it's just a sex thing, it's like, okay, you're my fuck buddy, Bianca. You and I, we're going to fuck on MWF, 10 p.m., my place. That's it. Okay. Right? So let's just say that's the thing. Okay, Bianca, come on. I know you want it bad. That's it. I know you want it bad. All right. So you're just flushing blood. Um, so let's just say we have that set up, you and I, Bianca, MWF. And we do that for four months I'm or longer. Us. Yeah. Somebody's gonna fall in love. Yeah, and then you get to fuck with GTTJ. <laughs> Somebody's gonna fall in love. Love, there's really no such thing as like casual sex or the even fuck friends. Like the fact long term, there's no long term. Yeah, yeah. you can do it for a little bit. But yeah, you someone's get, always you gonna get, get hurt there. And mm-hmm. and the thing is, it's uh, it, if you don't establish this early on in the beginning, then. You know, pinasok, pinasok pa to. Yeah, yun, parang, that's what they say. Pa, kasi parang may silent hope ka pa. Uh-uh. ba? So, unless hindi mo ma-establish yun, talaga meron masasaktan. Tama, I want to know, did you have sex with him because you wanted him to stay with you longer? Ay, mali, mali, mali. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's why she's saying she goes, she goes, she's already living with the consequences. Like she actually acknowledges that oh, that's what she did <laughs> and that's what happened. Yeah. yeah. So now, well, since alam mo yun yung problema, what exactly are you trying to ask of us? Oh, eh, no. Yung sabi lang niya sa akin, kasi one year, taramdaman ko, I feel na may something, pero. A year ago, <laughs> ngayon nag-usap kami, this week lang, this week lang kami nag-usap. Sabi ko, mahal mo ka ba ako? Sabi niya, hindi. At yun lang, hindi siya, sobrang okay, sakit okay. lang. Kasi, no, yeah, Ika, listen, love, what are you doing, man? You're trying <laughs> to, you're, it's even almost like you're trying to manipulate him mm-hmm. into believing that he loves you. Huh? you what do you mean? What do you mean? Rephrase that. Like, like the thing is, you're pretend. Uh, how do we say this? Uh, oh, because she said, okay, mahal you're, you're, mo ka ba ako? Oh, as if to establish, and, and then, mahal mo ka ba? It's, it's a leading question. You can't, you can't fucking okay. do that. Yeah, okay. You're pretending you have something. He doesn't, you don't have something. Nakasume ka lang. Yeah. You're assuming that just because you're having sex, it must mean there's love. No, okay. dear, there's not. Uh-oh. Now he's gonna, he'll ride along with it because I get to fuck you. <laughs> but, you have to know that it is not what you think it is. But he was uh, honest I have pa to with find you. A way to explain for me, it for him to say <laughs> no, it's like, I, I, as painful as it is, Uh-oh. I would rather mas masakit yung truth kesa sa pahabain pa niya na paasa ka pa na sasabihin niya. Hmm, yeah, na, alam mo yun, an, edi, naghiwalay na kami, lagi kami magkasama, an, hindi, mo, hindi, mo, hindi kami nag-uusap kung anong feelings namin, pero, Yung care, yung caring, yung lahat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you, alam no. sa family nila. Acting like they're together, but 
they're not together yeah. which you know, sucks you know Mo used to say this no, kasi may mga ibang callers who are saying na I don't understand kasi sweet naman kami together so akala ko may feelings <laughs> sabi no ni Mo like, like, like yeah like Mo yeah like Mo actually said lahat ng tao dito sa mundo who doesn't want that person to be to be with just for the cuddles just for the lambing diba we all want that all but want it that. doesn't mean yeah. we want the commitment so, syempre, if someone is offering that to us, that lambing, why will we say no to it, di ba? Kasi masarap naman talaga yung feeling. It does feel good. Uh-oh. So, syempre, for him, if he's gonna get it from you, the okay lang kasi you're offering it eh. But for you, siguro binigay mo thinking, ah, if I'm gonna be malambing to him, baka magiging kami or baka mamahalin niya ako. Doon ka yeah. nakamali kasi nagka-expectations ka. Maybe she speaks in body language. And the problem is that's a naive way to look at things. Yeah. If he hugs you and kisses you on the cheek and kisses you on the lips and you have sex, it must mean this. No, it, it, it doesn't. That's a naive outlook. And I mean, most guys, most guys are going to do that. Yeah, guy, okay. I will do that. I've told a girl I love her just and, so I can fuck Mo, her. Can you just explain <laughs> to all girls right now, um, like before we, we like end the show, explain how girls misinterpret body language of guys, that it doesn't actually mean more than what it is. Yeah, you just basically said it right there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that if a guy's malambing, it's not because he super cares. Yeah, a lot of guys... If you put your hands in my pants and notice I have an erection, it doesn't mean that, that we I have a future. It. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's an erection. And, and how how many times have I put her. girls? I mean, I don't. For my fans out there who think I'm a great guy, I am a great guy. But how many times have I put girls in gray area? I've done that just so that I can get in their pants. Of past. course, of we've always like I told you. I said I love you to a girl just because I think I yes. can fuck her. Yes. It's even after having that intellectual conversation with that girl in, in, in college, I still wanted to sleep with her. <laughs> you know what I mean? And That's you right. still did anyway. And I still it did doesn't anyway. mean okay. anything after that. Yes. yes. And, and and listen, he's how old is this guy? He's 20 years old or he was 18 years old at the time oh. in what other situation at 18 in the Philippines can you have regular sex except to lead somebody on yes. thinking yeah. that so I my follow up question like is to help this girl and to help other girls out there when can a girl one really know that you're serious about her two when can she actually ask you hey is this more than what okay. it is don't fuck the guy unless he's your boyfriend Okay. If he hangs around, he likes you. Yes. Like, it really is as simple as that. If you and I, Bianca, have our little MWF thing, and then all of a sudden you go, Mo, guess what? I'm establishing feelings here, and I don't want to do this anymore uh, because it just it's not my thing. It goes against what I believe. I'm going to be like, okay, now if I didn't like you, I'm leaving you that moment. If I like you, I'll stick around. And maybe Dama. we can make it something worthwhile. Yes. And then we can have sex again. But that's going to be because, like, like Guji said earlier, it's a connection. It's a way yes. to communicate. Sex now, we're just communicating now our love for each other. Before, the, the MWF was communicating our lust and our, my need to fuck you. Yes. Now it's not. It's now I love you and this is what we do. This is how we show each other that we love yes. each other. Let's just take the, 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 the off air where we're – Talking, we gotta go. We have thirty yeah. seconds left. Off here, we're talking about the say the sex tape thing uh, that Chito Miranda was involved in, right? Mm-hmm. Now, people like me who are not in that relationship use it as jack off material. Yeah, they are in love when they're doing it. <laughs> yeah. Do you see, it's the same act. It's just they're in different. They're in a different part of their lives compared to where I'm at. Yeah. So if if Bianca and I are fucking on MWF, that's because we want to fuck. If she wants to stop fucking me. And I still hang around. It's because I do like her now. Yeah, I do like her a lot. So you're saying there's also a chance of Fubu's to become a something? Yeah, definitely. My last girlfriend was a Fubu. Oh, it didn't turn okay. out well, as you know. But yeah, I mean, I was fucking her on the okay. side for for quite some time before we eventually okay. materialized. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, no, totally. It can happen. It's not the greatest foundation to start on. Yeah, because yeah. you know, I've it always been believers of possible. like the friendship and all that stuff. Yeah, it's definitely possible. I, I believe in that, that's but I also believe prob- in that's more likely than the fubu. I always believe in also that you only live once. So you might as well give it get everything a try that you need to try. Okay. If you feel like you need to try that and if it's sex with somebody, do it. If you think you're gay, 
try Go it. For it. <laughs> yeah, if there's any moral for me to give out to anybody, or, if there's um, Polly's cheesecake on the table that no one is taking, yeah, eat go it. for we, it. We, we said it yesterday. I, I said it on the show yesterday, and somebody even retweeted. The worst thing you can do in life is not take the opportunity when it presents itself, regardless yeah. of how, the life the lifespan of the opportunity. If it's a, if it's an opportunity that will only last a week, or if it's an opportunity that will last a year, you take it anyway, regardless of the duration. That's what you have to do. But, However, it has consequences, as in this case, this girl has fallen in love with this yeah, guy, yeah. and they are in a different kind of they're in different uh, dynamic of how they feel the relationship is going. She's in love. He just wants the pussy. And the problem is it went on and on and on. If you're going to get into a fucking f- a casual sex relationship, try to keep it under four months and then move. <laughs> get out of there because someone's going to fucking I fall in love. I guess how you should say that go. sentence is in life, there will always be opportunities and it, it's, it's more like, yeah, go for it. You know, take that chance. However, as with all things, there are also consequences to those. So you just have yes, to watch sure. out. Yes. You know, take the Every cautions. medication made in the history yeah. of pharmaceuticals has a side effect, regardless yes. of all the benefits. Each and yes. every piece of medicine has a side effect. Some of them are the, the advantages far outweigh the disadvantages. Sometimes, like say in like a chemotherapy or some sort of radiation, they're both equally dangerous, but you need to do it. So you never know. Things have side effects. It's up to you on which you decide what you can exactly. consume, what you can uh, c- yeah. can kind of uh, endure. All right. Anyway, we got to get out of here. Hey, Guji, buddy, thank you so much. I appreciate your presence here. Bianca does as well. We're both big fans all of a sudden now of you. Um, <laughs> Thanks it, a lot. It, you are yeah. really great company thank and uh, excellent conversationalist. I, I understand why girls want to fuck you. Like, uh, <laughs> I get it now. I super yeah, get, I get it, it now. Yeah. Totally. Yeah, totally. Aside from the look and all that stuff, yeah, you're fucking yeah. good. Great. Guy. Mo would fuck you. Totally. Yeah, totally. If I was gay, you- I'd probably fuck Mo too. <laughs> Okay, okay. But, who'd be the giver? Oh, oh, I the have taker? to be the bottom. I have to be the bottom. Called it. Shotgun. That's, that's fine. I like bottom. being on top. Are you anyway. serious? Oh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Whew, uh, I was I was nervous there because I thought we were in the future. <laughs> see, we okay, we gotta get out of here. Hey, listen, we will see you again soon. Please yeah, uh, yeah, do yeah. make yourself available if you can. We I'll, would really love to have you. Back. I'll do that. I'll do that. All right. Follow him on Twitter, uh, Gucci Lorenzano, yeah. Bianca Valeria. It's Bianca underscore Valeria. Our store is closing. The studio, like yeah. the guards are like, "Fuck you, Mo. Let's go." <laughs> so we gotta get out of here. I'm so sorry. We have to cut it as fast as we can. Bianca, I'll see you on Monday. Um, I'll yes? tell you. Yeah. Um. Okay. Or are you gone already? Yes. Oh, well, we'll discuss it off air. Okay. Whatever. Off air. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Enjoy the cake, kids. <laughs> okay. Have a bye. good one. Bye. Bye, Gucci. Thanks, man. Bye, bye. Good times with Mo. The podcast was executively produced by Mohan Gulata, engineered by Miguel Alfindo, and operated by Icon Media E. Special thanks to Magic eighty nine point nine. You can follow Mo on Twitter at www.twitter.com/djmotwister. Email him at.